happened? It echoed in my ear. What's going on? Muted? I'm muted? Can you hear me? You couldn't hear me before, but you can hear me now. As well, I was trying to tell you, I have had an extremely rough five minutes. My PC completely froze. Like I couldn't do anything. And then I, I like tried to turn it off by pressing the button and then it wouldn't turn back on. So I was like about to cry. I had to get Dan to come help me. Um, it was a whole thing. Um, but I think we're back and I think it's okay. <laughs> wow, I'm this close to crying. <laughs> when this kind of stuff happens when you're live in front of everybody, it's really bad. <laughs> It's really, really, really bad. Okay, okay, wow, that was horrible. Really bad timing. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I was like, my PC's broken. What am I gonna do? Uh, okay, I have to get stuff back open because it closed everything um, just then when I uh, <laughs> when my computer died, but we should be okay. <laughs> we should be okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Anyway, um, how, was, how was your time without me? <laughs> I know the chat was in emote only mode. I was trying to come in from my phone so I could see it um, and see what was going on, but all right. Okay, let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack back on because what we need is the Sims 2 theme at a time like this and I'll get my game back open. <laughs> all right, welcome to the stream. <laughs> we just went live. <laughs> we didn't have any problems. Everything's totally fine and totally normal. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the one day I watch your live, it goes down. Ellie, this is very abnormal. It was just for a couple minutes, so it should be okay. Hopefully you can see me. Because um, if not, that's really bad. See, this is why. This is why I want to cry. Because people are like, the one time I'm here, your stream breaks. And it's like, well, this is horrible. Anyway. Um, it's fine. <laughs> well, Tilly, you can see me. But can that person? That's the real question. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? What if they still see the blue screen? Hard to say. Anyway, I'm back. It's fine. Everything's fine and we're back and everything's fine. I'm not fine. <sighs> but it's fine. Well, I know it's not my fault, but I still feel stressful, Steph. <laughs> okay, well, we can open our advent calendar then. Um... I can open our advent calendar, so we'll start there. Okay, and then we'll talk about the build again. We have to reintroduce it, because I don't even know what all you heard me say. I don't even know what I was talking about when you last saw me, because my stream died. <laughs> so I don't even know what I was saying. Because <laughs> I didn't, I like, I couldn't tell if it was frozen, like, just for a sec, or if it was, like, dead dead, so I don't know what you last heard me say, but we'll fix it, it'll be fine. You don't even remember? <laughs> me neither. So we'll talk. We'll we'll get back to that. Let me just get my sim in the in the lot again. Um, I'll get the land grabs. It's my tester sims. It'll be fine. You're kidding. Well, that was laggy and scary. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Yeah, my freezer bunny's in the chair. I finally filmed the video where I opened up all the Sims merch today. Um, so, there's a freezer bunny there. It's my new freezer bunny plushie. Okay, shall we do this, my friends? Yeah? Uh, today is day eight of the advent calendar. This one is a Lego advent calendar. The past few days have been flops. What is... Actually... That's kind of cool. I think it's a street light. I like that better than uh, unclear ice sculpture. <laughs> a street lamp is actually kind of cool. Okay, well we'll build that in a bit. Probably if like the game crashes or something and we're waiting for it to open again, we'll build that. But that's kind of a fun one. Okay, I feel better already. This is guaranteed to make me feel better. My mini brands advent calendar. Yeah, we had a chainsaw lady yesterday in there, in the um, Lego one. Cause she makes ice sculptures. This was yesterday's Lego. And then yesterday's, um, yes, I think it was this. Yesterday we got V8 vegetable juice in our mini brands. So cross your fingers for something good in today's mini brands. Yeah, day eight. Here we go, ready? 
I hope it's weenies. Oh! I think it's, it's pencil? <laughs> what? It's Derwent Pastel Pencils. That is fascinating. It's very small. I thought it was like a debit card when I first saw it. <laughs> it's tiny pencils of, oh, upside down, of, of high quality art pencils. You thought there was nothing? Yeah, and when I opened it and it was completely flat, I was like, what's going to be in there? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. No, it doesn't open. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of like not the best mini brand we've gotten, but it, cause, cause like as far as the item goes, also the scale of this stuff is always way off. I don't know, but like, I liked this dry shampoo. The, the brand is Derwent and they have a bird on the front. I don't know. I'm being so serious. If you do not want that, send it to me. <laughs> I could, I mean, it's flat. You probably could put it just in an envelope as well. <laughs> you could just put it in an envelope and send it off. <laughs> I could send it to you if you want it. It's cool. It's a cool, oh, geez. It's a cool item. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. I'm sure they're beautiful pencils in real life, like really high quality, nice ones. Okay. Used them in art school. Nice. <laughs> you need it on your bookshelf beside your pencil. You the real ones and the tiny ones right next to each other. Cool, cool. Okay, uh, what I will say chat, and I'm so sorry about this. If you subscribed uh, in the time that my internet, or it wasn't even my internet, it was my PC. If you subscribed in the time that my PC was dead, I cannot see it. It is not even in my list. <laughs> so it's gone. <laughs> um, so for that, I apologize so much. I'm so sorry. Thank you for subscribing in the time that my PC died. Um, I can't see it though. <laughs> what I can't see is people who subscribed in the last seven minutes. So Jules and Sarah and Trish, uh, Milk and Nessa and Matt and Indigo and Glory, uh, Kaylee, Jilly, Mackenzie, Maud and Rosie and C and Bam and Juju and Buzz and Ren uh, Renaissance and Emmy and Jerky and Bexie and Ozzy and Leona and Hannah and Christine with the 68 months <laughs> who says sending healing vibes to your PC. <laughs> uh, Jay, um, Spook and, and Ava, thank you all for the subs. Mish too, Emil, Kelsey, thank you everybody. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the plan for today. Before my computer died, um, I was telling chat about how we're going to build a set of townhouses for my legacy challenge that I've been doing on YouTube. So if you've seen the series ever, it's like those Bell family people. Um, I played like 10 generations, then I went to university. Now we're starting over on like gen one with the same Sims. Um, and we've been living in a small-ish townhouse, um, it, like just for fun. And now the pack is out. So what I want to do is build a big set of townhouses and then have like the whole extended family live there. So I want to have like my Sims house in one, have their mom live in the other, you know, like have, um, so anyway, I don't want to have a 64 by 64 lot. Good God. No, no. Um, this is a 40 by 30 lot. Shrimpy. Hey little guy. Um, this is a 40 by 30 lot, but oops, sorry, buddy. I almost got you tangled in my headphone cords. This is shrimpy. Hello, little shrimpy. Hello. But we're gonna build a little 40 by 30 lot full of um, uh, townhouses. Probably three or four is kind of what I'm thinking. So um, this one is big. He's basically the same size as Snap at this point, which I don't really understand how that's possible. He went and got huge all of a sudden. Um, You're supposed to be tiny. Oh, and guess what, everyone? I don't know if you'll see him tomorrow because I can't guarantee that he'll come on stream. You don't fit under my monitor, shrimp. Oh my God, he went out of build mode. He's getting uh, neutered on Monday. <laughs> Shrimpy's big days on Monday. So next time you see shrimp, snip, snip, you know? Um, bye bye balls, you know? <laughs> next time you see him, um, <laughs> he'll be different. So, and he'll be bald like his sister. Anyway, <laughs> shall we build? I don't know about this bald thing. <laughs> okay.
Okay, okay, let me open up another version of OBS so we can record this. What if my PC crashes from that too? Don't even joke about that. Um, Ultimate and No Clue and Cass and Jen, Avocado, Dana, Fish, uh, Emesk and LG and Ultimate, thanks all for the subs. All right, um, all right. <laughs> They don't shave males for neuters, they just pluck them usually? Really? Are they gonna have to shave his paw though still for the IV? So is he only gonna have- They're gonna pluck him? Oh my god! I don't know, I've never- I don't- I'm- Wow. They're gonna pluck him? <laughs> like a little chicken? Oh my god! No, no, not not his balls. His <laughs> guys, they're gonna the fur around it. Like Sunny had to get her whole tummy shaved because they had to cut her open. But with shrimp, it's gonna be a little um. Oh my god! Can we stop talking about balls, please? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> as a group, as a group, we should talk about something else. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna- <laughs> we're gonna build some townhouses. Some beautiful little townhouses. They're gonna be all sorts of, uh, different vibes across them, um, and it's gonna be cute. So, that's the situation. This is a picture of a random one that I found on Google. Um, I like how they're sort of all different and all attached and kind of skinny. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hale said, let's get the ball rolling. <laughs> Guys, let's get the ball rolling and start building, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, welcome to my Sims 4 stream where nothing has gone wrong and nothing chaotic is happening at all. <laughs> <laughs> Corinne, Carmen, Chrissy, uh, Neg, and Drayton, and, and Prod, and Sylvan, and Jess, thanks for the subs. <laughs> oh, okay. This is gonna take me hours and hours, too, so I'm a little bit intimidated thinking about starting, but let's just go for it, okay? So, kind of what I was thinking, um, and we do need to keep in mind that my Sim, they're gonna have, like, three kids. So we're probably gonna wanna have space for like three bedrooms, um, at least, maybe four if we can fit it. Um, ball pit, stop! Oh my god, it's cursed! How is this happening? <laughs> it, it, it is for the, the Bells, yeah. It's for the Bell family. Which, unfortunately, is really close to the word balls. <laughs> um... But that was not intentional. <laughs> That's just the last name of my legacy challenge, Sim. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> wow, we are off to a good start, aren't we? Okay, I'm gonna put these up on a foundation, I think, too. Um, is this gonna be big enough? I'm not sure. It's probably gonna take me a few tries to see what I want it to be like, right? They're gonna need some lights, too. Um, okay, put in the middle. Oh, the family with their rent free? Yeah, that's the idea. I don't really intend to charge my Sims family rent money. I mostly just want to have them live there, like, for the vibes. So, uh, I'm, I'm not really planning on like, charging, you know, Granny to live in the house. I just want Granny to live there because it's fun, so. Is it gonna be two stories or is it gonna be three? I don't think I want it to be three stories, although I know that a lot of the pictures I look at are three stories. I don't know. Enough rent to break even? Yeah, maybe that's the way. We charge them, like, 50 simoleons or something so that it pays for the daily unit tax. Um... Okay, I don't know. Make this shorter again, probably. Also, those trees being in the way, are they in the way on the gallery? No. Tails end? It's too much. That's <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> You've actually gotta be kidding me. How is this happening? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Coriander, Oksu, and Osol, and Tweak, and Mel, and Lassa, Shannon, thanks for the subs. Oh, 
I'm gonna bulldoze it. I don't know what I want it to look like yet, so I need to try again. I, maybe I should just build one first so I can think about how wide it should be, and then we'll start from there. Yeah? I think that the one on the end is gonna be the one that my sims live in as well. So the one on the end is the most important. Because it belongs to me. <laughs> Clearly. Um, so let's keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Two stories with basement, maybe? Oh, a basement would be a fun thing to add in. And we're gonna do like kind of different um, windows and stuff on each of the units. I, I think that like all three or all four of them will end up being quite different on the interiors and on, on the window setup and stuff. Um, yeah, Tiny, so kind of what I was thinking, and this, I mean, this might end up being too much, okay? So I'll, I'll just throw that out there. We might not end up sticking to this plan in particular. Um, but, so I have my Sims, right? One set of their parents is still alive for now. <laughs> I make no promises about the future, but for now, one set of their parents is still alive. Um, so kind of what I'm thinking is that maybe it would be cool if we had um, like one for my sims, their parents next door, and then maybe um, maybe like the brother could live down the, oh, that's terrible, I don't like that. I had it, it was so skinny before the townhouse that I had them living in, and I really actually liked it, but. <laughs> what if the basement was like a shared laundry room and lounge? Oh, it'd be cool to have shared laundry. I don't know if it's gonna work out that easily. But don't both have two brothers? Yeah, but we don't need to have everyone living here, Cappy, because this is the problem, right? At that point, there's too many Sims. Like, if we have everyone, like their aunt is a vampire who lives forever too. So what am I gonna do? Have her live with us forever? Like, there's only there's only so much that, um, that we can do. They both have brothers, yeah. Um, one of them has, I forget. Dory has one brother, and I think April has two, but there's only so many, like, sims that we can have. Um, make the basement join through all the houses. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about something like that. We'll see. We'll see. You mean Aunt Barb isn't going to be the landlord? Dory has two brothers? Really? Why did I think she only had one? Are you thinking about the other one? Oh, the stepbrother. I forgot because he moved out a long time ago. At this point, this was literally months ago in real life. I forgot about Gary. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry, Gary. I was just thinking about about Silver. It's her half brother, not her stepbrother. But um, doesn't matter. Still, still her brother. <laughs> he just he was a lot older than them, so he moved out long before. Um, poor Gary. I'm sorry, Gary. That's my bad. Chelsea Shelby, Alaska, wonder. Thanks for the subs. You guys, this build, I, I gotta be honest with you. And for the sake of transparency, because of the stress with the, the PC crashing, I'm like this close to crying. <laughs> and now if this build tests my patience, well, to be honest, I don't even know what we're gonna do. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how today goes. This is gonna be an ordeal of a stream, I fear. Um, all right, I don't know. That's too big, I think. Maybe it needs to be skinnier. Oh my gosh, the wouldn't these windows be so cute to have? Wait, 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 wait. This might be the idea. We're gonna have to do a couple different kinds of windows and doors on all of these units. Oh. Of course they're smaller, because why would it fit? Why would the, you know, why would they be the same size as the windows? That would make sense. And certainly this build won't make sense, right? Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna need a door. Strange Real Windows as well. Well, we can use Strange Real Ones. So that's, this is the thing, Melina. Every single one of these units is gonna be different. So we're gonna have a wide variety of different um, sorts of, ugh, I'm gonna start over. I'm sorry, I, I just, it takes me a second to figure out what I want, okay? <laughs> 
Those windows we were just using are from university. Um, those are from university. You're being so brave. I don't know, Shella. <laughs> I wouldn't really describe me as brave. I'm a weak person. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's try again. Um, we're not doing like brownstones. No, they're gonna be all sort of different different than that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're experimenting and <laughs> transcending sometimes. Nadine, Jolsey, Shelby, thanks for the subs. We might not make it very far today. I'm warning you. This is, um, it's, this is a day of experimenting. Okay, are we on the same page? Which one was I using before? I liked one of the swatches. I think it was this one. Try that. Okay. This is Brindleton Bay, yeah. Um, I really like that window, but I don't like how it doesn't fit up here. I don't think I want this to be medium wall height either. I think I'd rather the upstairs be short wall height, but we'll see. Of course that doesn't match, because why would it? Literally nothing matches that. Nothing has like that brown interior for what reason who knows no one will ever know they made all these really nice swatches from this stupid pack and then none of them match properly i guess it could just be white and that would be fine okay cool that's cool right i don't know Still having the wallpaper lag? Yeah, so Leah, here's what I've learned. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, the truth is what you have to do with with the, um, the lag from the rental types is you just have to build it as not a rental. That's not what you wanna hear, but it's what you have to do. You have to build it as like a regular house and then turn it into a rental at the end. So just build it like this, like I'm doing it's residential, and then swap it to a residential rental last. And then assign it at the end. No hate, it's kind of windowy. <laughs> yes. If you Google a townhouse, if you look up like townhouses in New York City, there's a wall of windows on the front because there's no windows in the sides because it's they're all attached. Um, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just making sure you know that it's gonna be, it's gonna be windowy. Um, that's that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> they they just are sort of windowy. Um, it's kind of how it goes. So um, we need to get natural light where we can, um, and you can't get it everywhere on this because obviously it's uh, not a full building. There are like all the windows. Sorry, the windows are not on all sides because it's like attached. So. I don't know. I don't really know what it's gonna look like yet. I'm not sure if I like that or not, so we'll have to see. Three stories, please. Yeah, so I don't know if I personally want it to be three stories. <laughs> I, I think that I personally might prefer for it to not be three stories. Um, just for like the vibes that I am going for. Hey, Tika, 41 months, hello. Hope you had a, a good day so far today. We're building at the moment. Um, Okay, this one, I might have come out a little bit. I don't know quite yet what I wanna do. Oh, no, you know what we should do? Well, wait, they're all gonna be kind of different, right? If I have the two front doors next to each other like this, is that gonna be a problem? Not sure. We'll see, they're all gonna be kind of different. <laughs> Michelle, Millionaire, Mia, Jackson, Tika, Aaron, Ava, Trish, Mel, Otto, thanks for the subs. I think that's kind of realistic, I don't know. And then we could have like a little fence. I'm probably gonna use a different fence than this. I'm just sort of thinking about layouts, okay? So, um, they have like their own little tiny courtyards, sort of. Doing something like this. Rooftop garden? Yeah, we're gonna do a rooftop on one of them. I would like the three stories, it would be different. Yeah, but I'm, guys, I think you're forgetting that I'm gonna play in this build. Like, I, I'm making this build with the intention of me using it for my legacy challenge sims. And so three stories for my legacy sims is gonna be like a, a bit much, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> hey, Smorley, thanks for the raid. 
Um, it's good to see you. Wall must be taller to place freeze. You're wrong. I would be open to having like a tiny third story, but I don't think that's what any of you want to see. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. But again, I'm going to play in this house. And so having like three full stories is kind of more than I was, <laughs> more than I was prepared for. <laughs> We're building it for specific Sims that I'm using for my YouTube series and not just for randoms. If it was for randoms, it'd probably be a little different. Um, oh my goodness. These don't even match. That's not the same color. These match, but I think that's like kind of weird. You know? Weird in a bad way. You like them? Oh, really? Well, that's good. At least someone does. How many Sims are gonna live there? Um, it depends. <laughs> it depends. I don't know if I wanna have a third story. I don't know if I... We, that would be sort of like a different vibe. Third, the third story thing, this is like, we're making, you're, you guys are thinking like San Myshuno, brownstone, like, and that's not really what I was going for with this. I think I kind of had a different vision with this today. I don't know if I'm comfortable giving into this concept or not. I think that I want the two story because it's cozier. I think the two story, that's what I was envisioning in my head. I think that's what I want to stick to. I'm sorry, we, we'll do it. The next build that I want to do, one of the big things with the the pack is that I want to do some like cool brownstones in, in um, San Myshuno. So we'll do like some three story, really cool builds there. This build is just not a three story build. Um, I don't want to have three stories for my legacy Sims. That's not what I'm going for with this. Um, okay. Um, so that's one of them. That's probably where the grandparents are going to live, I'm thinking. Um, so we'll probably end up doing something like this with the doors too. I don't really know what just yet, but we'll see. I'll have one there, I'll have one here. These will be different, I don't know. Um. So, okay, Imminent, Vero's sake, thank you all for the subs. All right, hey, I'm switching between floors. Yeah, I, I also find swapping between floors to be like kind of overwhelming. Um, it sort of depends on what you're doing, I guess, but I, I find that like the constant floor swapping between three floors to be a lot. I, I sort of prefer my Sims to be laid out all on one floor because I find it a little bit easier to like know what I'm doing and who I'm playing with because you can see everybody a bit easier. <laughs> um, each building is going to be a unit, Dika. So I'm going to have like my legacy challenge sims live in one of them and then like granny live in the next one. I might even steal some space from granny's unit and like give them some extra space because this unit is going to need a little bit more room because I need to have extra bedrooms in this one. I might get to make it a bit like one tile wider. I'm not sure. Um, Sims that are out of sight or out of mind for me. Yeah, I can see that, Christine. I'm kind of the same way a little bit at times. Um, stealing space isn't realistic, TBH. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna say it again. I'm, I'm just doing this because I'm gonna play here. No, it's not realistic at all in the slightest, but I'm doing this because I'm gonna play in this house. Um, it's a build for my legacy challenge, so I'm gonna make it work for for me and for my legacy challenge If you want to renovate it if you if you insist on downloading it, but you still hate it for some reason um, You can renovate it by all means to not be unrealistic, but because I'm making this for me um, I'm gonna make it kind of unrealistic. Okay <laughs> in that way um, Tangerine, thank you for this up Okay Okay, okay, okay Um Maybe once we pick out some of the... Once we get some of the doors and stuff set up, it's gonna come together a bit better. So, it'll be okay. It will be okay. Um, I'm thinking, oh, that's weird. I don't like that one. 
I'm thinking that on this unit, do you really not fit all of my windows? That's, but my dream is to have all of these windows. I want this one to be like more colorful or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know, we'll see. Did the pack officially come out? Yeah, it came out yesterday. The pack is officially out now. So that's pretty exciting. Um, okay. Okay, Macklin Tangerine, thanks for the subs. Oh my goodness, I haven't got a single clue what I'm aiming for with this. I really liked the, the unit that we lived in recently um, with my Sims. I had used windows kind of like this and I actually really liked them. <laughs> I thought it looked cool to have the, um, well, I don't know if I like that many of them, but we'll see. We'll see. No, Liam, don't worry. We know, we know, we know, we know. Um, <laughs> so sore subject for me personally, cause I'm, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and anxious. <laughs> so, so I'm, um, if you were here earlier, my whole PC died. We, we, we've been kind of in crisis mode today. So I'm having a really rough time at the minute. <laughs> so just give me time before we criticize the random tiny things about my build. Just, <laughs> just give me a minute for us to figure out how it's going to be. And then you can have opinions. But for now we haven't even done anything yet. So just bear with us. Okay, Chad. Um, just bear with us. Okay, I really do like the university windows. I wonder if I could use them in... Maybe I could do all white on one of the... units. I can make them be lower. Because then I could get this thing here, and that might be kind of cool. I don't know. It makes them look like they're different sizes, and that's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want out of this. Okay. Fancy door too is pretty good, I think. Maybe they have blue accents for some reason. Um, all right. Thoughts on that? I don't even know if I want these to be medium wall height. I guess I do. One whole townhouse just for Nina. Yeah, so that's the other thing. These Sims, oh no. Mm. <sighs> okay. Uh, the other thing is that these Sims, um, they have a robot. <laughs> Listen, what I'm about to say is gonna sound really weird, but so, so my Sims, they have a robot who lives with them. Um, and she, uh, her name is Nina and she basically raised my children. Um, so we're going to need to make sure Nina has a reasonable amount of space in the home as well, but not that much space. Cause she kind of just sleeps like in the middle of the room. So, okay. Okay. Basement suite for Nina. We were talking about doing basement stuff. We were talking about that. Should Nina have her own apartment? Well, if we give Nina an apartment, then she won't live with us anymore. And that's no good. We want Nina to live with us. Um, okay. Also, Nina doesn't need a bed because uh, she doesn't sleep. She just recharges is sort of the situation. Um, so <laughs> do with, with that information what you will, but yeah, she doesn't, um, she doesn't need a bed. Yeah, airs <laughs> thanks for the subs. Nina the live-in robot nanny, I guess. Yeah, apparently, okay. So this will be the grandparents unit. This will be, well, maybe this should be the grandparents unit. Maybe my siblings will live in that unit. I think a lot of my Sims siblings live in this one. I'm kind of leaning towards on this one, brick on the bottom. And then like, uh, I need it to be a really starkly different brick from the one it's next to. I don't really like that one either. 
but will it be big enough? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Fix the column if I offset their depth one tile. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, Dika. Um, the problem is, I don't know if um, I want them to have offset depths like this. Obviously we totally could, and then the columns aren't gonna be a problem. And it'll probably look better as well from afar, but I'm not sure how much space I want it to take up on the outside, so I'm not sure yet. It kinda takes away our front yard vibes, but that's not a problem. It looks nice. Um, I was considering this too, but I was hoping to have them be lined up. We shall see how it goes. Um, yours would be smaller in the back then. All right, come here. That's the problem with this too, is that, yuck, you know? Yuck, 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 with the window. It's maybe okay. Um, let's see, maybe I could paint the brick instead. I just don't know if I like that, but if they had this and then maybe like a, I don't know if this comes in a color that I want. Is there like a navy blue, like the door? That's the blue suburban unit. <laughs> if the one on the right was offset backwards, what, like even smaller? Um, I mean, you could do that, but I'm not sure if I want it to be. I think that's pretty enough. Pretty enough. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Said it's pretty enough. Come here. I don't know if I like how that looks. We'll see. We shall see. Maybe I could fill some of this in too with like a... Yikes. I was just trying to see if I could make this look less weird on the side, but the answer is probably not. <laughs> okay. I think I like how that looks so far. I was planning on having there be a roof. I want to have not all of them have flat roofs. So we have to sort of determine, I guess it's going to need to alternate if we're going to do flat roofs on some of them. It'll, it'll have to be kind of alternating who gets the flat roof and who doesn't. Um, I don't know. This might be okay. have the first one be offset in the front rather than the back so it's descending. I don't think I want it to be descending. Do you think that it should be? Um, Cause this is the one that we're gonna live in. I guess I gotta live on the right, but that's the one that I was gonna have my Sims live in. So I kind of want to maximize the yard space a little bit. But I don't know. I think it's okay if they're all kind of off from each other a little bit. Um. You like it as is? Okay. Looks like it's too intentional. All right, that's an interesting way of describing it, but I think I can see where you're coming from. I think I think I get it. Um, what happens if I put this roof like this way? And then what if we did something kind of fancy? Like we got a couple of these. The problem is these, they never look how you want them to. <laughs> Cause they don't like, um, they don't fit in properly, you know? So they have just a gap. <laughs> they have just a really annoying, weird gap. Um, they don't continue into the roof, but that might not be that big of a deal, depending on how you look at it. I don't know. Literally, depending on how you look at it, if you if you don't look too closely at it, it might not bother you that much. But if you do look closely at it, it will bother you a lot. So. <laughs> Rose, Therese, Alex, sexual subs. Um, okay. Let's try that. Maybe I'll give them some black um, 
shutters. The word I'm looking for is shutters. I'll give them black shutters on this. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um. Do you think we'll finish it today? No. <laughs> No, 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 no. There's absolutely not a chance in the world that I finish this build today. Um, this is gonna be a, a multiple day sort of effort for me. <laughs> the, the rentals are quite big and also it's my legacy challenge Sims house. Um, so in general, it's gonna be kind of an ordeal, this build. And we will definitely not finish it in just one stream. There's no shot that we finish it in one stream. So. Yeah, the pack makes it take a long time. <laughs> we have a lot more um, to build. It's just big, so. Okay. Because someone had to go and decide to build a house for literally all of her sims to live in. <laughs> The concept here is that, like, my Sims parents and their siblings and them, they're all gonna live in one of these rentals, so. Okay. This is the problem with the medium wall height. It does not fill in the whole wall. There's, like, gaps. That is not what I want. I want it to be tall, but then you look at the doors that come by default and they are not tall. They're not even close to being tall. Why? <laughs> Why are they not tall? Look at how short that is. <sighs> it's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh my goodness. Another thing we have to clarify because people keep asking, we're not gonna have the entire extended family here. We've got like all these cousins and, and vampire aunts who are immortal. There's no way we could build one for everybody. <laughs> we're gonna try to fit in some of the extended family, but we, we cannot have the entire extended family live here. I know I just said I was going to, but I didn't mean like the entire extended family. I meant some of the extended family, <laughs> okay? Um, we can't really have everybody. It's gonna be too much if we did that. All right. What if I did the windows like this? I don't really like that though, I don't think. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. What lot is this? It's the empty 40 by 30 lot that comes in Brindleton Bay. So it's in the cats and dogs world. <laughs> Whose unit is this gonna be? We don't know. <laughs> we haven't thought that far ahead. We're mostly just building the units themselves right now. Um, and then we'll get to the whose is whose part afterward. Um, okay, I don't really like this at all. Should I go back to having the three? Also, no chat, I do not have any giveaways today. I, I bought five copies of the pack for yesterday, but I don't have any more today, okay? Um, so. I think it's better to have more windows in this case, because it's gonna be so dark on the inside. It'll be good to have extras, right? Okay, I think I want this one to be all brick as well. Yeah. Um, maybe, which brick do I not hate? <laughs> That's the question. How about the kind of orangey toned one? I sort of do hate that one, but it might be good for this. I don't know. We have a lot to do on the back too. All right, that's a good idea so far, I think. And they all have little front yards, that's also good. Um, black or gray brick? Oh, we could do this one with a dark colored brick. I don't know if I wanna do, I'm not sure. 
It would be a little different, so that might be good. That's the one from werewolves, don't use that. Don't do that, that's a bad idea. The base game one is the same, but without dirt on the bottom. We can do the darker brick. That's a different vibe too, so that'll be good. Door needs scooted over. Okay. Okay. Are you referencing DC when designing these townhomes? Um, I, I wouldn't say that I'm referencing anywhere in particular. I'm kind of just building um, at the moment. <laughs> I know that's not helpful, but I'm kind of just building. Um, I'm certainly not referencing Central Florida, that's for sure. We don't have anything like this around here. <laughs> um, but I, I'm kind of just building, so I don't have a specific place in mind that we're referencing. Mostly just, it's a build, so. This looks so Orlando. <laughs> yeah, 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 this is, um, this is actually exactly what Orlando looks like. So, totally, yeah. All right, scoot back a little bit, that's good. Oh, that's good also, because this gets a little bit shorter. So that's an improvement. I'd love to see you build some typical Florida townhouses. Yeah, typical Florida townhouse is what I lived in for five years before I moved into this house. So yeah, that would be fun to, to recreate, so. Um, the problem is they wouldn't be cute in The Sims. It would be like beige rectangle, you know? Are there townhouses in Florida? Yeah, <laughs> I lived in one for a long time. Let me see if I can show you a picture that's kind of what I'm talking about. It needs to, we need to find an accurate one because sometimes they make them cute and that's not helpful in the pictures. Oh, here we go. Well, this picture is really small. Here, look at that, you guys. <laughs> No, 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 no. All of the ones that I'm seeing when I Google Florida townhouse are a bit, they almost have like too much design going on to them. I'm dead serious. This image has too much design. I know you're thinking, how is that possible? But it is. This has too much design. Um, the columns, way too fancy. The shingle variation, way too fancy. It's stucco. Um, sad beige rectangle is what I used to live in. Lines of them. Very similar to this, but imagine beige rectangle. There wasn't any fancy bits on the roof, really. Um, sad beige rectangle. And the back is just completely flat as well. <laughs> like, completely flat. Um, yeah. So that's my experience. Not the kind of thing you want to build in The Sims, really. <laughs> the columns being fancy, the bar is so low for American suburbs. They do make some, they do make some nicer ones in some places. I just didn't live in one like that. Um, I mean, they're, they're building these like really quickly and really cheaply, you know? Um, the people making it are, are trying to turn the most profit possible. Um, and so they're not like, putting effort into things that are not necessary. Um, not that that's a good thing, but it is what they do, so. Okay, I might actually give them, I'm kind of thinking it'd be cute if we had a little like covered porch section right here. I think that would be a nice touch Gives it a little bit more pizzazz, if you will. That's what we want, is pizzazz. Okay, don't have that there anymore. It's supposed to be flat. Flat is what I was going for. Um, can I have like... Does doing that break it? Oh my God, what are you doing? Stop. Yeah, that does mess with the column. I don't really want it to mess with the column. That's not ideal, so. Um, something like that. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm not sure. Remove the flower over the blue door. What? I liked it. You don't like it? 
No, um, the the for rent pack, absolutely under no circumstances <laughs> will it go on sale in December. Um, they will never have the pack go on sale the month that it came out. Um, I know that's not what you want to hear, but it is it is the unfortunate reality. It's it's not going on sale um, the first month that it released. So it would be cool, <laughs> but it definitely will not happen. Like no chance will it go on sale um, this month. I honestly, I wouldn't expect it to go on sale until like March or something. Like it, it, they're gonna try and get as much money out of you as they can before they put it on sale. So um, they have had some good sales recently on packs and even like um, Horse Ranch went on sale pretty quickly because this pack came out. Um, but in general, they, they won't put a pack on sale unless they've got like a new pack coming out to, um, oh, what if we use the darker blue? They won't put it on sale unless they've got like another pack, another expansion pack coming out. Um, I don't know what I want to put on this one. I'm overthinking this one a lot because this is the one that I'm going to have my Sims live in. And so because my Sims are gonna be in this one, I'm really like overwhelmed. Um, I don't really, people are saying a beige brick, but that's the thing. I don't really want it to be a beige brick if I'm gonna live there, you know? Um, if this one's gonna be mine, then I want it to be nice. <laughs> um, no. No, 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 no. I don't know about that either. Rooftop? Oh, we're gonna have a, roof, a rooftop, yeah. That was always the plan, is to have a rooftop. So we'll definitely do that. Um, I don't know if I want it, there's this kind of pink, like right now, the house they live in is kind of pink. I don't know if I want the outside to be pink. I don't know what windows I wanna use. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think I want it to be stucco though. I think I want it to have more like texture to it. What about the wedding stories pack? Do we have like, imagine this, okay. Oh, that's bad. That takes up a lot of room in maybe a bad way. I might, might need the windows to be skinnier. That would have been cute, but. We could always do like a cute light green too. That's kind of a different vibe, but. I don't know. I do like those windows a lot. I think that's fun. Oh, the trim of them is beige. Just ignore that, okay? Pretend it's not, because I don't like it being beige, the trim. That bothers me. I don't know if I like that. I actually think that the beige brick looks okay with it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but somehow that's not too bad. Do the smaller windows fit better? Oh, they're too small. I wouldn't want to have the smaller ones. Um, yeah, the Twitch recap, it should be soon, Dika. I'm not sure exactly when, but the Twitch recap, um, I think it should be soon where they like show all the Memories from the year or whatever. I think it should be coming up, yeah. Um, what if I had a light green? There's no colors of walls that are the same shade of green. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why does it, uh, okay, okay. That's an, also a different shade of green. Ah, yikes, that was horrifying. I don't think I want it to be too contrasting. If I'm gonna live in that one, I'm gonna want it to be pretty and I'm, I just don't really think that it's pretty right now. So, no, 
I'm overthinking it. This is my least favorite of the units so far, and this is the one that I expect to live in. Like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that simply won't do. What if we had like the horrendous orange brick? And then... No, that's ugly. Never mind. Sorry, everybody. Well, what if the horrendous orange brick was on this one? And then we did white brick on this one. Maybe? Maybe? That's cool because there's some contrast here. Which is always good. Wouldn't these all be the same color on the outside? No! <laughs> Not even close! Um, there's different kinds of townhouses in different places. Think about something like this. These aren't even remotely similar. And they're all attached, so. Um, no, they wouldn't be the same. Okay. I don't know if I like this or not. What other options? There is the purple. We did like the purple still. The purple was also good. And the purple might be better, just in general, for, for these purposes. I think the problem for me is that I've already used these windows like before for a legacy build not for this legacy challenge but for my not so very i had those windows in the purple house so i feel like i've used them recently even though realistically it was kind of a long time ago so that's kind of why i'm like mm, i don't know if i want to use that but i think i might be overthinking it so use a dark color i don't really want my sims to live in a, a house with a dark color again this is my my legacy challenge so I'm being a little bit picky about what their house looks like because um, these are my sims and I'm gonna be playing with them for a while in this house, so. Um, I want it to be pretty. I like that actually, I think that's cool. We can do some ivy maybe on some of them. Probably not this one, but on some of them. Okay, okay. Good start. It's not a new legacy, it's the Sims that I've been playing with on my YouTube channel for like years. <laughs> um, it's the same ones that I've had for that Bell family. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Base game. I don't know, which one? Should they all have the same fences? I use like this kind of fence before. I think. I don't know if I like it or not though. It does line up nicely. Yeah, I like these windows too, Cal. I also wish that we had more swatches on these because I think they're so cute. They're some of the best windows in the game. Okay, I'm gonna give them a chimney. Um, mostly just because this gives me a little bit more space inside of my unit. <laughs> Everything that we can do to get my sims some more space inside of their unit, that's the goal. <laughs> um, and I kind of also want to try to do some sort of fire escape situation. Um, this might not work, so don't please don't get your hopes up too much. I might not like it. So if I don't like it, then please, you aren't allowed to hold me to it. Um, but if I do like it, then I'll keep it, okay? <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh. Fire escape is cool because that gives you a way to get up to the upstairs um, from here. Something like that is kind of what I'm aiming for. Um, hold on. I then need to move these guys and then put this here, delete that. No! Hold on. Does it come in white? It could. Let's let's figure out the shape first though. Just to be sure that it works. Um wait. Is that all one again? Oh, stop that. Go away. I always struggle a lot with putting the staircases back when I try and do stuff like this. Because I need the um here, wait. 
Can I delete that now? Yes, okay. Um, I don't know if that's gonna fit because I have it on a, there is a single platform. I don't know if I like this or not. Hmm. I also don't know if I want it to be in white like you suggest, but I guess it's kind of silvery and maybe that's better than white. Do I like there being a fire escape? I don't know. I can't tell. You like the black? Okay. Also, like, it'd be cool if there was a ladder down this one, but... Could you use two bent stairs instead? Well, I don't know if I want to do that. Because, um... I mean, you could hypothetically do something like that, but go away. I could do this and then have a ladder down. That might be better, because they're so tall. It's kind of annoying how tall it is. Um, but it would, oh my god. <laughs> it would be something like this, basically. What are you doing? Could you tell me why that is missing? Like, serious, serious question. Why is there a hole? What on earth? That's gonna kill my sims. Hold on. <laughs> no, there's not any platforms inside. I don't think. I might have done one by accident, but I didn't put any platforms inside. Yeah, I like how it looks when it's bent. I think that's cool. And then I can do a ladder down to the first floor. I mean, it fixed itself, so. Yeah, there's no platforms inside. Can I put the platform back up here? Oh, I don't want there to be, I don't want it to be all the way that way. I just want it here. Okay. Cool. Um, and then there would be like my my vision, because this is kind of what might happen in real life. Here's the vision chat. Oh my god. Really? Why do you think that I want that? Like, what makes you think that I want that? Oh! Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. Oh man, there we go, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I can't really tell. I have not got a single clue why that's happening either. Should I reload again? Why was that so difficult? <laughs> this is what I mean when I said, I don't know if we'll keep the fire escape. <laughs> Oh, Sims, you are such a funny game. All right, that's better. That is more like it, okay. That's kind of what I was picturing with this. I don't really mind if you guys don't like it because I like it, okay? <laughs> we'll put some landscaping to cover around more of it too and then it'll look really good, I promise. It's cool, Just, just give it time, okay? And I, I think it'll grow on you. That's a fancy fire escape. And then you have access to the roof, which is fun. Very, very, very fun. Okay, okay. In their backyards, they'll be sort of similar with the fences in between all of them. Um. Some bigger than others, <laughs> but it's like, that's Granny's house, you know? So 
we'll be able to use like the bigger backyard next door because it belongs to our grandmother. Um, and that's fine. All right, so on the inside of the house, well, let me think about the floor plan. The, the unit that matters the most is this one because this is where my legacy Sims are going to live. So we kind of have to prioritize this area a little bit. I did steal some space from their parents' house. This is not realistic, but I want it so I can have a bigger bathroom. Um, it is a sacrifice that I personally am willing to make. <laughs> um, I, I did it on purpose. I knew what I was getting myself into, okay? <laughs> um, that might be all right. So that gives us a couple bedrooms upstairs. That's more than we have right now. So that's okay. We can have like the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom doesn't have space for wait. They can have a bathroom there. That gives them space for an ensuite in the primary bedroom. Okay. Trisha, thank you for the gifted subs and Magpie and Foxy and, and two ghosts and Anne, thank you all for the subs too. Um, what if you don't put fences between them so they can use all the backyards? We could, I might also put like uh, gates or something so that they can access them even if they don't live there. Cause I think it's okay if we use granny's house. I like how it looks better if they each have their individual backyard space though. Give them an L-shaped garden so that it's bigger. I guess we could give myself a bigger one cause this one on the end is ours. So we could make ours bigger just because it, you know, it's my house. <laughs> we can steal some extra space for my Sims and then block it with trees or whatever. Um, I'm okay with that because that's ours, so. All right. Sounds good to me. Um, should we put over here, like, this then becomes, oh no. I don't know if I, if I like that or not. Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do the windows out here. Could be a door for the fire escape. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I want to give them access with a door to the fire escape. Obviously, that's like kind of realistic. Um, well, not necessarily. Maybe it's more realistic to have like a window that you can sneak out of. Um, but I don't really like the colors of the sneak out windows is kind of the issue. <laughs> I feel like I'd have to use that window everywhere across the what did that say? Object gameplay cannot function here? Why? <laughs> Why? Where did you get your mods, Simsy? Um, like my, like the ones on Twitch? Or my Sims mods? Cause the ones on Twitch, I just got them. It thinks there's not a floor there. Hmm. Yeah, I just found him, you know, in a sewer like my cats. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I the mods that I have on Twitch, um, they're they're people who used to watch the stream a lot, um, and and now uh, I trapped them, and they have no choice but to watch the stream a lot. <laughs> Cause they're trapped in my sewer. Like my, no, no, no. They're just, they're friends of mine, basically. <laughs> they're just friends of mine, that's all. Um, all right. Oh, you know what'll be cool? Because we have like the extra space, we can give them like a paved area and an open area and that'll be nice. I'm wondering if for the back door, it would be good to have sliding glass door. I don't really like the look of the sliding glass door, but I think that like functionally, it would be nice to have a sliding glass door just for the vibes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Blue Mooney, thank you for the resub. Alaska as well, thank you so much. Um, Okay, 
How are we gonna do the layout downstairs then? That is the next question. Um, I guess we'll probably want to have like, hmm. Well, can I have like a, a small little, what if we had an entryway? I know this is maybe a waste of my space, okay? But I, I just like having proper formal entryways. What if they had an entryway there and then a bathroom? And then we had like a pretty archway and then this becomes the living room sort of somehow. And then we have the, or this could become the kitchen and the dining room. Wait, I have an idea. It can be kind of open. Hear me out. Obviously I'm not gonna keep these counters, okay? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> this is just this is just a vibe experiment, all right? Imagine the kitchen goes kind of like this. They have their dining room. Ooh. Okay, I personally wouldn't use the vampires one, but I picked that one. Their dining room is kind of like that, right? And then the living room ends up being kind of like this way. Oh, but there is space for a fireplace right here. We don't have to use it though. I could just steal that and put a desk nook in there. Cause I used to have an office. We don't have an office anymore. Hmm, I don't know if I like it. Oh, we also talked about getting a basement. We don't really have access to a basement from in here. Oh my, didn't you do a 12 hour stream today? Have you been live like literally all day? I feel like I saw you live earlier and it said long stream, but maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> Either way, welcome in. We're, we're building a set of townhouses kind of for my legacy challenge that I've been playing on YouTube right now. Uh, we're sort of experimenting with the exterior. Obviously we're not quite done. Um, and then this is the unit that my sims are gonna live in. This is not looking very good. Uh, I realize that the furniture is just me trying to figure out where it would go. <laughs> it is because it's your birthday. Oh my God. Well, happy birthday. And I'm very impressed that you did a 12 hour stream on your birthday. <laughs> the last time I streamed for 12 hours, I felt like I was dying at the end. <laughs> are you okay? Are you good? <laughs> You should go to sleep. <laughs> but happy birthday, thanks for coming by. Um, I'm so excited, that's so fun. I'm glad that you can make it over today. And I'm very impressed at how long you streamed today. So, <laughs> you might have caused a smidge of chaos in the stream. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. I, I'm, I, <laughs> that sounds about right for Twitch chat. <laughs> now, hold on, you're telling me that in your streamer's birthday stream, you caused chaos? No. <laughs> really? I can't imagine that. <laughs> you did a 12 hour stream last week for charity too? Oh my goodness, you are brave. You are, you are streaming a lot, that's very impressive. Um, I like how that looks, I think. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I flip the concept kitchen at the back. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of the thought that made more sense that I was initially kind of imagining, but that's why I was trying to do something different and have it be in the front. <laughs> the kitchen makes more sense in the back. I'd have to raise these windows up a little bit though. Um, I was hoping to like split up the room more just to try and do something different. Oh, that looks absolutely horrible. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. Um, we may or may not do this. It's hard to say. Not sure yet. This is the unit that matters the most. If you're just tuning in, this is the one that I care the most about because this is where my Sims- No, I think I liked it better before actually. I know it's weird, but I think that it's gonna be good. I, I've got a vision, I, I can see it. It's gonna work, okay? I promise. But yeah, this is the one that I care the most about because this is the one where my Sims are gonna live. And then I'm building this on purpose because I wanna have like all of their family, not all of, but like I wanna have like their, you know, the grandparents live next door and then um, do some stuff kind of like that. So uh, we're trying to figure out the best way to go about this. I feel like at this point, 
I did steal space from the grandparents' house on purpose. This is not an ideal location for an office because there's no windows, but I might make it into the office anyway and then not have it be a bathroom just so I can have some extra space. And then we're gonna have three kids. So we'll have like one kid have this room. The other two kids can share this room. They've got a downstairs bathroom and then the ensuite bathroom for the other Sims. Yeah? I can see that working. Okay. Last one I care the most about. And then they'll have like a cool uh, rooftop as well. So we'll have some extra space on the roof too that we can work with. Um, what about the robot? Well, the robot doesn't need their own bedroom. The robot just recharges like by standing there. So the robot doesn't need a bedroom. Um, we don't have to worry about that too much. Everyone wants the basement for Nina. Oh God. Maybe I could steal some space from the grandparents unit again. <laughs> Listen, this is not the most realistic thing to do, but it's all about the vibes, okay? Um, but we could steal some space from the grandparents unit, so that way we could have the- We wanted to have like basement laundry that was accessible by a lot of the family. We could also have outside basement access, but that might be kind of irritating if it was only outdoor basement access, so I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see how it goes, but it could be kind of like that. I don't know. Maybe a shed for laundry. Yeah, I guess that's like another idea instead of trying to sneak a basement in here. But then Nina would have space for the robot. And we do kind of need space for the robot. We also don't have to do shared laundry. It's a miracle that I have laundry at all. So it might be better if we didn't have shared laundry and we just had one small set of laundry and then like a, a space with the robotic stuff in the basement. My Sims have a robot. So there's a lot of talk about where the robot needs to go. I kind of, guys, I actually kind of like this, I think. I don't know. Both units can share the basement. Oh, that would be kind of interesting. I'm worried about, um, I'm worried about them trying to come through the doors, but we'll see. It's for my YouTube channel, Jenna. This is um, the Sims that I've been playing with, like my Bell Legacy Challenge for a few years now. Um, we sort of like started a new legacy, but it's Gen 11. Um, those Sims. So, those Sims. Hey, Dark, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Um, can put extra bathroom in the basement. We could have an extra bathroom in the basement. So, Nina, or do you mean Eve? Okay, Hope, listen. Yes, I've called the robot the wrong name many times. That's fine. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. If you guys don't watch my, my uh, series on YouTube, I don't want you to feel like you can't watch this stream. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's more just like a, if you have seen it, then you might be excited about this sort of situation. Um, it doesn't matter if you haven't seen it, so don't feel too bad. Um, Okay, I'm gonna come back to their floor plans. I wanna figure out the front yards a bit more. Cause I'm not really obsessed with how this is looking, so. <laughs> I wanna get some landscaping and some more decor outside. It's gonna start looking better that way. Um, you always type Nina. Oh, you correct me? That's nice of you, Hope. Um, it's because the, the default name of the robots is Eve. And the first robot that my Sims ever met was called Eve. And so I like accidentally call their current robot Eve all the time. <laughs> all the time, even though its name is Nina. I just call it the wrong name a lot. So, um, okay, let's see. I know, I love the rentals, right? It's so, I've been having so much fun with doing the rentals. Uh, they have like absolutely made my life this rental pack has changed everything. <laughs> it's like completely changed the way that I think about and, and want to play The Sims as well. And I know that sounds very dramatic, but it's, it's true. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I wanted to have like a little, um, some sort of little tiny baby debug fence would be good. I don't know if there's one that's like, 
stone from the rent pack. There's the stone pillar. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's this one. I don't know if that one fits in that well, but... Wait. Oh no, there's a little bit of clipping. Okay, see, very sad. Is that the exact right size? I don't know. It doesn't have to be a fence. We could also do something lower down and have like, well, something that I've been doing a lot recently that kind of serves the same purpose is I'll take these little guys um, and then I'll kind of put these sort of along the edge um, and I'll line them up so that it, it go, cause you can't put a fence, an actual fence up against the edge of the lot. So we have to kind of think big <laughs> and figure out something that works for this purpose. Um, and, and this is kind of what I've been doing. Um, is trying to do that because then it frames landscaping a little bit better. So, um, I don't know. Hedge fence? Yeah, we'll put some bushes in here. That's kind of the idea. Um, I don't really know what all we'll do with the landscaping exactly, but. Okay, so this house has like the cute pink and purple flowers. So I'm probably gonna try and mix in some pink and purple flowers. Um, have it all be slightly different. I also want to get my staircase. What pack is that from? Oh, that thing is from the, uh, it's from Cottage Living. That little item that I just used. What I get in the advent calendar? Oh, we haven't built it yet. This is going to be a street light from my Lego advent calendar. And then we got a mini pack of colored pencils from the tiny brand one but like fancy art pencils, not just any colored pencils. They're Derwent pastel pencils. I think that they're probably expensive in real life, but that's just a tiny piece of plastic. So <laughs> um, it's okay. <laughs> it's a toy, but it's a fun toy nonetheless. Um, yikes, okay. Um, pink, purple. Maybe if I mixed in some like, wait, swap that to be pink. And then let me get the white, little white flowers too. Eh, I don't really like those together. Maybe I'll just embrace the purple because I do like how the purple looks. We could try and make all of the flowers over here purple. Mix in those, I don't know. $52 for 36 of the pencils. Those are nice, those are expensive. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what I wanna do with that just yet. I do know that I wanna figure out something to put in the front. I think we'll try and do something different in each of them. This'll be good, cause that means that we can have like the little purple flowers. Oh, and I should save, you're right. If you guys are just getting here, in the beginning of stream, uh, we had a bit of a crisis because my entire PC died. Um, it, the whole thing just froze. And then I couldn't get my, my PC to turn back on. And I was like about to cry. It was a whole thing. Um, but we're fine now. We're fine now. <laughs> it has returned. Uh, we, we did make it back um, after a bit of a moment, <laughs> but we did make it back, so. <laughs> What world? Oh, this is in Brindleton Bay. This is the world that comes with uh, with cats and dogs. It's a 40 by 30 lot that is usually by default empty. Is where we're at right now. Um, should I use this bush again? Do something similar? What, what do you think they would have? I kind of like the idea of like some, we'll do orange or maybe, I guess we'll do yellow there. Maybe I'll do orange flowers in here. Um, is it weird that you have enough eggs for a Discord role and you don't even have a Discord? No, I don't think that's weird. I think that happens a lot, to be honest, that a lot of people um, watch the stream a lot but don't use Discord. That's fine. Um, I personally use Discord for a lot of things, so Discord comes in really handy for me, um, but not everybody uses Discord, so. 
Um, uh oh, that is bad. <laughs> Can I put that up there? Yikes, 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 yikes. I don't like it. You've got a kitten at your feet. Oh, really? Shrimp was in here in the beginning of stream for a little bit. Um, what does a Discord role entail? Oh, it just gives you like a fancy name color in the Discord server. Um, you get access to a couple special channels in the Discord server. If you're not the kind of person that uses Discord, it won't really matter to you. <laughs> um, but if you happen to be in the server and you have enough points, uh, by all means redeem it here so that you can get the, the perks there. Hey, Maggie, thanks for the raid. Um, it's good to see you. We're building some townhouses for my legacy challenge on YouTube. Um, still a work in progress. We've not made much progress actually, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It took us a while to get to this point, but we are slowly but surely making our way through. Um, so. All right. Um, let me get them some cute little, like, I guess some cute little decorative things in the front yard. I think it would be nice if we gave ourselves like a whole bunch of, um... so these Sims, I don't know how many of you guys watch this series. You really don't need to worry about it anymore because they're about to die. So like, don't feel bad. <laughs> they won't live here for very long probably, but these are the Sims that I played through growing together with. Um, so the, the Sims who live here, they're now like grandparents. Um, but it's the Sims that I played with the Growing Together pack with. Um, and so we're kind of preparing it for them. Saying don't worry, they're about to die is not like promising, but they're just old, so. <laughs> I play on short lifespan uh, now. They had, they had some time not on short lifespan, but we are back on short lifespan, so things are not looking good for them. Um, but <laughs> anyway. Is it the two girls? Um, okay, so so that could <laughs> that could describe any of my sims. Um, it's it's not two girls though. <laughs> um, but the series on YouTube, the series on YouTube, it is two girls, yeah. The the ones who are gonna live in this house. <laughs> that doesn't really help to distinguish it uh too much, but <laughs> um uh the their parents are not. So <laughs> uh one of their parents is non-binary. Um, anyway. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's the ones who I played through university with, if you watched that series at all. I don't know if you did. Um, um, should I give them some like little rocks or something? I don't know, I want it to be cute in their front yard. They're also, they have kids. So it might be cute if we added like some toys or something for them. Hope says I did. Well, Hope, you you did. You did watch the series. That's true. Hope um, does the closed captions on my YouTube videos. <laughs> so Hope watches all of my YouTube videos. <laughs> In fact, she watches them very closely because she types every word that I say. Um, oh, Hopscotch would be cute. Can I fit that on their walkway? Oh, man. Do you think that's better in the backyard then? Cause I don't really want to, it doesn't fit in the grass. It's too short and you can't size it down cause then the animation would mess up. So maybe a kitty pool. Oh, what about the little toddler pool? We will have a toddler, right? Cause we're gonna have another baby and stuff. So that might be cool. Oh, it doesn't really fit. This front yard is smaller than you think. <laughs> we'll come back to this once we start furnishing. Let's let's make sure we actually decorate all of the yards before we start getting too far into this, you know? Um, the toddler slide. Oh, the slide might be good too. Well, let's come back. It is, it is only small, so. Um, before we get too ahead of ourselves. I don't like that. Well, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that either. You know what I'm being forced to use against my will? The Star Wars one. Should I have them all be identical or should they be different? Is it better if they're the same, the walkways? Maybe they should be the same. I don't know. I think they should be the same. Okay. 
you think different, you think identical. All right, I'm not really sure. Let's come back to that once we have um, done more of the landscaping. Cause once like more of the place is filled in, it might be easier to decide what we want, you know? Um, maybe I'll have you have like some little tiny bushes and then a bunch of yellow flowers. Or maybe you should have little tiny bushes and the other ones should have flowers. The cottage living floor with the grass patch between the rocks. Oh, that reminds me. I watched somebody use this, um, this floor in our uh, shell challenge. And I realized I have never used this successfully because I never really liked it. I thought it was like a bit much. Um, but I think that it, it actually looks kind of cool in a couple of the swatches. Maybe we can give the grandparents that floor in their backyard. We can do it like, we'll, we'll try and tone it down because we'll have probably some landscaping in part of it. And then we'll have like, the, there'll be a porch sort of like this somewhere. Um, so it won't seem as obvious. Um, but I think that might be kind of cool. Once there's furniture on it, it'll, it'll blend in better. But I liked the idea of that a lot. I've never really used that before because I've never really liked it. Like I just always thought that it was too much, but I saw someone else do it and I was like, wait, that actually looks really good. So we'll give it a try. We'll do the same thing here. Um, yeah, I think that the white, it's just a little bit easier to use than the pink swatch. The pink swatch is pretty, but um, it, there's like a very specific kind of build that can have pink flowers in between all of its floor tiles, you know? Like not your average build, at least my average build, doesn't really suit all that pink everywhere. What do you guys think about that? Is that too much? Are Baby and Marina both dead or only Marina? Oh, Baby and Marina are both dead. Those are, that was the previous generation of my legacy challenge, yeah. Um, Marina died first and then Baby died uh, shortly afterward, unfortunately. <laughs> But they actually, they lived a long time in the grand scheme of my legacy challenges because I usually play on short lifespan, but I, I took a break from short lifespan and turned aging off so I could have my sims go to university. So they actually lived a really long time, um, comparatively. <laughs> so that was good. That was good. Barnett, Buffy, Pokey, Annie, thanks for the subs. They lived like a really long time and I, I needed that because I liked them a lot. So I was really sad when they died. Is Marina's older kid still alive? Yeah, um, I think so. I'm not... You know why I forgot about him? I, when I switched saves, I didn't bring him. I didn't bring Gary. I need to get Gary out of the other save and bring him. I left him in the old save. So he's not in the family tree because I left him behind in the old save. I need to I need to get Gary and bring him into the new save again. Basically, I played like a 10 generation legacy challenge and, and we reached a point where like my game was lagging a lot and it was really stressing me out. Um, so I switched them into a fresh save. I played like a, a let's play with growing together and then I switched them into that save. I brought all my legacy sims in there um, and Gary's, he got left behind, so. Who's Gary? Oh, Gary was my, my, so my legacy heir. She has a brother um, from like my previous heir, but her mom had a son from a different like partner. And so he was like my legacy heir's half brother, uh, but he was a lot older than her. So they didn't really grow up together because he was like gone, he moved out. So that's why I forgot about him. <laughs> because they, they did not live together for very long because he was older, so. Um, I'm making myself look pretty bad right now, but I forgot about him and so did some people in chat. So it's okay, I'll fix it, I'll get him. I'll get him. He's not here though, unfortunately for him. Does that look good? But he's not dead, he's just gone. <laughs> He's not dead. He simply ceased to exist. <laughs> when you describe it like that, it sounds even worse. Not dead, just missing. No, the, the thing is, Christine, I, I almost wouldn't even say that he's missing. He's like, he's in the void. <laughs> he's gone. He was there and then he wasn't. <laughs> 
Oh no. Okay. I need this. Thank you. Let's get a different base game. I was trying to make it look less bad for once. <laughs> oh, um, I shouldn't have spoken up then. Christine was trying to make me look better and then I... <laughs> I said, no, actually it's worse than you think. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get some gnomes. I don't know who's gonna live in this one. Oh wait, I was talking about having the parents live in this one, wasn't I? I think the grandparents are gonna live here in this unit. Maybe I'll have the grandparents have a bunch of gnomes. They can have the Grim Reaper gnome, cause they're gonna die. Can you say that? Is that bad? Probably. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> it's a hint of what's to come. That's all. What if I use these? Do you hate those? I kind of hate those. I actually really like how these little flowers look. But nothing really matches them, you know? We could do some sunflowers maybe and mix and match in with some other things. Um, those aren't really yellow enough. I'm sad about this. Okay, maybe we do like, no, hold on, no, let's come here. I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm gonna do this one next, quick. From where's the blue door? Oh, that's from uh, the Strangerville pack, actually. Could just be a shrub instead of flowers. Yeah, but I like having flowers. I think it's so pretty to have flowers. I think that this is too much with those orange ones. I think that we need to have like some level of, oh, I don't know. Well, what if, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Maybe you guys could have this one and then maybe you could have some of these little guys. Well, potentially we could also give everybody just the bushes. And that might be better if like everybody had bushes and then their yards were a little bit more custom because this helps blend everything together a bit better. Instead of them being so different. I don't know, I like the flowers, but this way we have a little bit more room to do more in their yards. I think this makes more sense because this isn't theirs. Like this belongs to the, the building, you know? Um, maybe I liked the lower ones better. But like this, the, the whole unit probably pays someone to do like, you know, the lawn for the rest of the outside space. And then these would be like shared. They don't belong to them. Okay. As an apology to Gary, maybe he can live in the house. Well, I don't know if we're gonna have enough, this is bad, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough space for Gary in one of the houses because I keep, um, I, I have like a lot of, he has a whole family. My Sims other brother has a bunch of Sims in his family. So I don't know if they're all gonna fit. Real budget or cheats? Well, we have to use cheats for this, Megs, because we're gonna build four houses. So there's like, we have to fill in all of them and, and we don't have enough money on our own to cover the cost of all of the houses. So, did they fix the painting lag in the final version? No. <laughs> The game is in fact very laggy in build mode. Uh, it doesn't happen in all build mode. It happens specifically on rental residential build mode. So this is gonna be a rental lot, but you might notice that I'm not building it as one right now. It's just a regular residential. I'm gonna swap it to a rental and then label all the units at the end. So like the last thing I'm gonna do is, is label them. So that way we don't have to worry about any um, 
I need glitching. I don't like that. Are they aware about the lag? I am certain they are aware. <laughs> I am certain that they are aware. They definitely would have seen everybody complaining about it, so. Um, doesn't mean that they know how to fix it or that they can fix it easily, but <laughs> I am I am very sure that they are aware it's there, so. Um, okay. Believe it or not, a lot of the people on The Sims team, like, they'll even watch- you know how I make, like, a review video? A lot of times the folks on The Sims team will, like, watch the review video. Like, people who made the pack because they get kind of excited and they, um, they want to see what people are thinking about it and, and hear people's thoughts and stuff. Um, so they- if I said it, for sure they might have seen it in the video, but also they would have definitely seen everybody talking about it online. Like, they, you know, they see all the comments on social media and stuff that people make, so. And they see reports that people send in um, about various bugs and stuff, so. They know about it. Um, like in the forums and all these other places that they check constantly, so. Um, there's a lot of methods for them to be able to hear about these things. <laughs> um, missed a piece of foundation on the back of the pink house. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that foundation, but we'll see. We shall see. I don't really- I think that the Grim Reaper one is kind of throwing me off. I think that we need to have less. Just two, maybe? Do the tenants pay rent or is it still bugged? Well, so Melissa, what I- what I've come to realize, potentially, is that I don't know if the rent was ever bugged. I think it just works in a way that I think is dumb. And so, well, well, at one point in one of my saves, I did get paid rent on a Saturday, which was like almost in the end of the second lease, which didn't make any sense to me. But it seems like the rent always comes on Wednesday, no matter how long your lease is. So your lease could be one day, doesn't matter. You'll get paid on Wednesday. You could have the lease end six times, you'll get paid on Wednesday. And so I thought it was broken, when in reality, it works as intended in a way that I don't like. <laughs> Um, I think it's- I think it's just confusing also, um, because you wouldn't expect it to work like that. And what I will say again is that I- I did have my sim get paid, like, way later than I thought they were going to, because they got paid, like, on that random day, but I don't know. Um, this is the thing, right? It's, um, it- it almost- it's- it's a good thing for tenants, like, for tenants to have the rent be due, uh, weekly. It's sort of like your bills, so it kind of makes sense. But, so it's all on the same day every time. But for the landlord, it's not good because it takes so long for you to get paid. Almost to the point of you forgetting that like, you're even gonna get paid. Um, if they were like clearer somewhere in the text somehow about like when the rent's gonna come or or something, they, they could have done something to make it more obvious for people when the rent was gonna come, I think. Um, but yeah, I, it's not bugged. It just, uh, works in a way that I don't like. <laughs> and I thought it was bugged because it was taking so long to get paid, um, that I thought it was, like, paying me on the wrong day. Like, I was reading that as, it's paying me for my one-day lease days late. But actually, it just always pays you that day, no matter what. And I- I clearly, uh, wasn't expecting that and misunderstood, <laughs> so... Um... Okay, but it wasn't just me, it was a lot of people. A lot of people that uh, played the pack in early access thought that. that. This is the thing also, right? Like, when you guys see the early access videos, like, you might have seen my video, and James's video, and Deli's video, and Jesse's video. So now you've seen, like, everybody's thoughts and you saw how it worked for them. So, so at that point, you, like, understand how it works better than I do. But when I'm filming that early access video, I didn't talk to James and Deli about what was happening in their game, so I don't know until they post it. So I don't know like what they're experiencing until it's out. Um, but anyway. Um, it's a weird one, I guess. <laughs> Just works kind of different than you'd expect. Um, you guys have some more insight by the time it comes out. But like, I played it for two weeks in, in the quiet, <laughs> you know? Played it for two weeks without talking to anybody about it, really. Um, 
Well, there are early access chats and stuff, but I kind of avoid them because I don't like to see spoilers when I'm working on stuff. And then if I encounter bugs, I'll message people about it. But, um, you know, if this there was like 150 people or something that had early access this time. So there's a lot of spam in there. Um, easy to miss and easy to ignore. I say that with love, but it's like when there's so many people typing about all kinds of random stuff, it's like, um, anyway. Hopefully that makes sense though. You told us how to bypass the wallpaper lag before the pack was even released. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of bad actually, the wallpaper lag, it's pretty bad. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and get in some trees around. I don't know if I wanna do these or if I wanna do smaller ones, um, but I do like these, and I like how they take up a lot of the space on the lot. Is that good? I don't know. Um, you weren't able to make rental lots in Willow Creek? What? You can! <laughs> I can! I did, many times. Um, you, you're able to make rental lots in Willow Creek. If you're trying to place a rental off the gallery, you have to switch the lot type to residential rental and then place it if you're having that problem. Um, so, you think so, Dika? <laughs> See, that's, that's the kind of news that, that nobody wants to hear. <laughs> that you think it's a game limitation and potentially inevitable. <laughs> Like, that's- nobody wants to- to hear that one, so... Um, yeah, I- I'm- a sh I'm sure that they're very aware of the game lag, um... And, uh, probably doing everything in their power, and probably did do everything in their power for a while to try and make it not as bad, um... But... Is the wallpaper thing rental specific? Yeah, specifically the rental lots are laggy. Specifically when you're in build mode on a rental lot, it's laggy. Which is why I'm building on a regular lot and then switching it to a rental at the end. But specifically the the build mode um, is is laggy on the rentals. Live mode is fine. It's just build mode that lags on the rentals. And I don't really understand that, but whatever. Will the third house also have roof, roof access or just be a flat roof? I think that um, unless I put the roof access on the back, it probably won't have any roof access. And I think that's okay. They don't all need to have roof access, you know? Um. Oh, interesting info. Your assumption is that the wallpaper information is being updated as many times as there is units. Ah. So do you think that's something that they would be able to fix at all? Or do you think that that's gonna be like, good luck. But I can see how it might be doing that and how that might be causing problems. I'm no coder, but it sounds hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting theory though. Um, I could see that being it too. Um, that is rough though, that is rough. Okay, I wanna get, I would really like to have uh, air conditioning on the sides of these buildings. Um, because we have these cool AC units now. We can't really put them on the fronts, but I can put them on the sides, and that's- that's my dream. Like, isn't that cool to have the AC on the side there? Yeah. I like it. I may move this one depending on how the floor plan ends up looking, but... The AC does work with seasons. Yeah, if you have seasons, um, if you've got a thermostat on your lot, I don't have one yet, obviously I haven't furnished, but you can choose it to sync with the thermostat, and then the AC will turn on when you have the AC on on your thermostat. Otherwise, it's just like a visual thing. Um, doesn't actually do anything, it just looks like AC. Um, isn't that cool though? All right. Um, I wanted to get, I'm thinking we'll put some little, walkways. I'm thinking that on this one I'll put some gravel. 
probably put gravel there too. Is there a different shade of gravel that I could use? Maybe that one. This one will have something like that. I'll probably do another shade of gravel on this one. Hmm. Do you need a thermostat per unit? Yeah, because they're all separate houses. So uh, they're all, the game is seeing it as being completely different lots. Um, so whatever you have the AC set, just like in a lot of times in real life, like what your neighbor has their thermostat set to, you have your own thermostat, you know? Um, okay. I don't know if I want this to be white. A radiator set your curtains on fire and you lost the whole tiny house. Are you talking about The Sims or real life? Please be Sims, 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 please be Sims. The Sims, okay, good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know the radiators could catch fire in the game. That's something to be worried about, I guess. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, you've only stayed in apartments with zero control over heat. It's common here. I guess I don't live in a place that has heat. Well, no. I have heat. It's outside. <laughs> so I don't know much about how the heating works in places. And here people have, like, your people in their apartments here always have control of their own AC, usually. I've never known someone that, did, that didn't. Um, I like, I guess in my college dorm we didn't, but that doesn't really count because it's a dorm, you know? Um, so you can upgrade the radiators to be fire safe. Oh, really? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's honestly, I think that's like exactly how I would have wanted it to work. <laughs> I think that's perfect. I really do, I really do like that about it. That's cool that they did that. Um, in New York, most people don't have control of their own heat, so it's necessary to open windows in the winter to balance it out. Wow. Yeah, I that is so different from my life experience, obviously, um, living in stupid Florida. So <laughs> I that's amazing. I didn't really ever think about that. Um, that's unpleasant. <laughs> Same in your London flat? Really? Wow. Yeah, unpleasant, for sure. October 15th to April 15th, heat it super high no matter the weather outside. Well, that, listen, that does not seem logical. Um, now, again, what do I know about heating? But that, I can't say that makes any sense. Like, Hmm. Well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna scoot these over, I think. You are thrilled you have a thermostat now. Yeah, that's a huge, like, quality of life uh, change to be able to have your own thermostat if you're used to that, geez. Um, okay. So this really bugs me, but maybe I could put some bushes there. I guess it's good because it guarantees everybody has heat in the winter, but um, seems like a sort of a, a waste if people are opening their windows and stuff. That's not good. Um, but interesting. Okay, Brenda, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, clearly you guys, I haven't got a clue about heating. <laughs> this is my, my Florida is really showing right now and it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's, uh, anytime people start talking about the winter, I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is really unpleasant <laughs> what, what you all go through. People talk about like ice on their cars and stuff and I'm just out here like, <laughs> whoa. That's not anywhere close to my personal experience. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this needs to go all the way up. Oopsies. From when you moved from, uh, from the north to Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine that would be very different. Um, okay. 
hearing people talk about specifically driving in relation to like ice and stuff really freaks me out bad. Like when people talk about ice on the roads and all that stuff with their cars, that is just not something I have ever had to deal with. So the thought of having to worry about it like really genuinely scares me. <laughs> Um, I, I cannot imagine. I, I'm really freaked out thinking about having to drive, like, with- what the heck? Did I? Okay. Um. Good. Beautiful. Um, you go like this. Also beautiful. Does it not ever get cold enough to need heat in the house? Okay, so so last year, I would say that it was cold enough to need heat in the house for like four days total. Um, and because of that, I refused to turn the heating on because I was like, I'm, I'm gonna embrace this. I will embrace this. And it was like 30 degrees Fahrenheit, out, which is below freezing for like two nights and then you know, in the 30s during the day. Um, so I would argue that's cool enough to turn the heating on, but I refused. <laughs> there is heating in my house, never used it. Never used it in my old house either. So, can't believe you did that. Yeah, and Dan's family was here, so I think they were really cold, but I loved it. <laughs> Should be careful about freezing pipes though. Bestie, Bestie, it was only 30 degrees for like two hours at night. It's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> it was like 36 all day. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it also didn't happen. Um, and that was only, that was literally only over Christmas last year. That was the only, only days that it was cold like that. So it gets, it'll be like in the 40s sometimes. Um, it will be like on Tuesday this week and stuff, but it's not a lot. Um, so. <sighs> Anyway, um, 30, well, so 32 is zero in Celsius, Liz. <laughs> 32 is freezing, it is the freezing point. So it's about zero Celsius. <laughs> um, okay. Um, all right, I'm liking this so far. What kind of windows did you have in the front? I guess I have to use these ones in the, back to um 30f is so cold didn't think florida got that cold yeah i mean it doesn't really Th that's like like i was saying it's sort of like a rare extremely rare occurrence um one day you know that it did that really um so it's hard it's hard to say that it does get that cold because it was like one night i kept calling it a christmas miracle last year because i was so excited about it um but it doesn't really get that cold most times so um okay i don't I actually i i think i want i wanted these to be in the yard for this unit i'm pretty sure so i need to swap it over it's for, we wanted it to be for the grandparents' house. So there's no snow in Florida. Oh, it's it doesn't snow in central Florida, no. I mean, it's probably snowed before um, in like other parts of Florida, but not like the kind of snow that sticks really. I, before someone in chat is like, well, in 1981 in Tampa, Florida, it snowed for two minutes. <laughs> that's the situation. Um, it doesn't really snow here, no. Maybe there's like some, wild it did one time like in this part but <laughs> i don't know it doesn't really snow here um yeah there's like fluke incidents but it doesn't it doesn't snow so oops spelled debug wrong <laughs> typo um Maybe, could you get the ones from Growing Together again so I can use the pretty little yellow flower debugs? Cause I really like these. I think this looks so cute. Um, I saw someone ask if it doesn't snow, does it still feel like Christmas? And I think that's funny cause uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like most people live in places where it doesn't snow on Christmas. Like a lot of people, 
you might be lucky and have snow on Christmas sometimes, but not every time, you know? Um, so. A lot of places have it in the summer, so. <laughs> um, anyway, I may as well have it in the summer, I guess, <laughs> if in Florida, but. <sighs> okay, I think that that looks cute. I don't really know what else I want to do with the backyards too, too much. I'm kind of thinking about, oh, why must you clip like that? That's so rude. Please don't do that. That's fixed. Okay, good. Um, I will put maybe some landscaping over on this part. I will steal whatever landscaping they have up here. Well, maybe, what if in this one, they have like terrain paint instead, so we can do it a little bit more open. Please save. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> that is a good idea. Um, a Christmas without so snow seems so unreal and fake to you because living in the north there usually is snow. Yeah, that makes sense. Growing up, we always used to go to my grandparents' house for Christmas in Chicago. Um, and obviously it can and has before snowed on Christmas, but um, didn't snow like every Christmas. So I don't know, but we used to always go to Chicago for Christmas every single year until my grandpa died. May he rest in peace. <laughs> now Christmas is ruined. <laughs> Sorry, it's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really go up there anymore, so for Christmas at least. My grandparents also live there, but um, I'm gonna put these. I think I may use, oh no, maybe the flowers can stay like that. I think I'm okay with that. I remember similar situation though, where like the, the first Christmas in my entire life that we ever had in Florida, um, was, I mean, it was like exactly 10 years ago, actually, because it's when my dad had his bone marrow transplant, and so he couldn't travel. So first my dad gets cancer, and then we got stuck in stupid Florida for Christmas, and it was horrible. <laughs> Terrible. Worst time ever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I had a similar experience of, like, it's, like, hot outside on Christmas. This is horrible, because we used to always go to my grandparents' house. Um... Yeah, it was, a, it was a rough year, <laughs> so. It's all right, we made it through. We made it through. Um, maybe I'll give them... Nah, I don't want them to have that, never mind. All right. I don't know what else to do. I'm a little bit intimidated by this build. I must be honest. Should we start furnishing it? Because then once we have the first one furnished, it'll all kind of come together better. And that'll be good. Playground, add a grill. Yeah, we, I mean, I haven't decorated all the backyards yet, but I need to, we'll do that as we're going around. Um, I want to make some more progress with the, I don't know why I'm doing so much terrain paint. It's almost a guarantee that it's going to delete itself. Like, I gotta stop worrying about it so much. <laughs> the terrain paint is almost 100% without a doubt gonna delete itself, so we should stop bothering too much with it. Otherwise, we're just gonna get upset. Look, staircase fixed. Staircase fixed. All right. Um, so, I guess this room, well, who, who should I decorate it for? Maybe I'll prepare this room for two children and I'll prepare this one for an infant, right? That might be good. I'm not sure who's living in this one. This is the one for my, my main Sims. Um, so for my legacy challenge Sims, they're gonna live in this one. Have they updated staircases? Yes, I haven't had the problem. The bug I have not had. The staircases are uh, they're not doing the weird disappearing railings and stuff. Um, at least they weren't <laughs> yesterday when I, you know how I built the, um, that 12 unit base game apartment complex. Um, I, I filmed the speed build of that yesterday so that I could post it on YouTube. 
I'm going to post it this weekend on YouTube. Um, and when I film the speed build, you will be so excited to know that because the, how the staircases were totally bugged. If you were there, you might have seen it. Um, but they're fixed. They like fixed themselves. The railings reappeared. So that was a huge relief. <laughs> huge, huge, huge relief. Okay. I think, um, Wow, where do I want to put this? I don't think I want to have bunk beds, actually. Maybe we do no bunk bed. Because then it won't be like this. These are the beds from... Oh, sorry, my voice. These are the beds from Growing Together that we're looking at right now. Of course, they have two different colors to them. <laughs> I find that very annoying, but that's okay. That is okay. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, it is for the Bell family stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for my Bell legacy challenge. Um, ooh, these might be cool. Of course, that's the tall one. I don't want that. Packs. High school years. Okay. That is the tall one, isn't it? <laughs> we need to use the bigger one so that it covers all the walls. I don't really know if I like this or not. I guess that does kind of match, but it's a lot more curtain than I was sort of hoping for. But we shall see what we can do for them. Because we can have like kind of a pink and purple and blue mix and match of the wall colors. It's medium wall height, not tall wall height, Brooke. It's just medium. I very rarely build with tall wall height. I think that it's like too tall. <laughs> Um, too tall, like, to a fault most times, the tall wall height, so I don't really ever use it. Um, okay. Um, let me get some of the furniture, too. You never ever build in tall wall height? Yeah, it's, it really, it is good for certain things. It's just not what I want most of my regular builds to be. Um, I think it's too much most of the time. So... Yeah, it can be good in like, sometimes I'll use it in like a commercial build. Sometimes I've done tall wall height and like, I've, I've done like, um, tall, like factory sort of build. If I'm using a lot of platforms, I might use the tall walls. Uh, but for the most part, like most often, I don't really end up using it. So. It's got that Glimmer Brook Strangerville Delta Valley flare. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. Why do you not like it? I think it's just too much. I think it's just too much. I find it, like, I, I think it makes the rooms look kind of cavernous. Um, like, when you have a bathroom that's small like this on tall wall height, whoa, you know? Like, <laughs> um, I just don't, I don't love that, so. Um, I'm, I don't mean to be like, you should never build with it. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say. It's just not what I like to build. I don't really enjoy it. That much so um yeah and there's too much wall space so it's kind of hard to to work with i feel like ignore gameplay unlock sim title mint all right let's see what we can do i want this and i want it in the polka dots cute does that look good there? I don't know. Maybe. Fave combo is medium wall first floor, short wall second floor. Yeah, I always think that looks really nice together when you have the different, like, the taller first floors. That's kind of realistic, too, sometimes. Not always, but in a lot of houses they build nowadays, like new houses, they have, like, really tall ceilings on the first floor. I don't really like tall ceilings in real life, either. Maybe that's part of it. Um, I'm not a big fan of tall ceilings, just in general. But, um, ooh, I like the purple. Cute. I don't know if this desk is going to be fine where it is. I hope it will be. <laughs> we'll have to see, I guess. We will have to see. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I, um, I, I like 
look at these houses online and they have these massive giants it's like 14 foot ceilings and i just i don't i don't like it in real life i i honestly i think it looks so like it's just so much so big <laughs> and when they do you know when they have like two story completely open um like living rooms where the it's like a full height of the house and it's just the living room well how do you what do you even do like with the walls in real life like yeah I, I just i don't really like how that looks i don't think it looks good it's it i prefer it to be cozier so um nice for when you have a view yeah i guess that's true um where i live we don't have views <laughs> so i don't know um I guess that maybe is affecting my experience, but um, yeah, it's just not really my my vibes. Nice for natural light and tall Christmas trees. <laughs> well, that's what you need, right? You should build your house uh, based on what you want your Christmas tree to look like. Of course. Um, kids room, kids room, kids room, kids room, kids room, kids room. I want to use one of these cute little posters. I really like them. It kind of matches the vibes of the color schemes too. Love it because it means tall windows, at least here. Yeah, that's good for where you are. Like in an apartment, it's nice because you have a lot of like more height for the windows, but. Tall Christmas trees are a deciding factor. Exactly. <laughs> Your dorm room walls are tall, but it's nice to make your room feel bigger than it really is. I guess, yeah, that's good too. That's good too. It's more just when they have them throughout these like big, massive, ginormous houses and the whole house, it's like a big giant house. And then they got big giant walls. I don't know. Tall walls make you feel like an ant. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Your mat, mat, and your dad have to duck underneath the ceiling fan. That, see, that's that's too short. There's a line. There's a line. You know. It needs to be uh, not too tall, <laughs> and also not too short at the same time. <laughs> that is the way. Okay. Um, what sort of little lamp should these kids have? Maybe like a cute little. My first pet stuff all of a sudden I'm using. <laughs> Sarah Lily thanks for the subs. Uh, put this, how about that? And then this, does that fit on the? It does, it does. Okay. Good. Oh, I could probably scoot it over again. A little bit more space actually. All right. I actually like the color it's in. Maybe this one's cuter though, the Dalmatian. Not Simsy chanting my first pet stuff again. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I, I get really excited when I have a chance to use my first pet stuff apparently. Maybe a little too excited. <laughs> a little too excited about my first pet stuff. <laughs> um, okay, I wanna get a dresser as well. Maybe the dresser would have been better over here instead of that because you used to have a tall wall living room and you would throw sticky hands up on the roof. I have the exact same memory. My childhood friend, her parent, my, she was like across the street from my parents' house and her parents had really tall ceilings, kind of like what we're talking about. Um, and it wasn't me, just for the record, if you're listening. Um, her mom, maybe. She's definitely not. But just in case, I want to make it clear. It was not me. Um, but, but she used to throw like the sticky hand up onto the ceiling and it got stuck up there. We like, she like finally managed to get it to stick. And then it was like, oh no, it's stuck up there. And this is like abnormally tall section of the ceiling where it's like not ladder reachable really either. And so it was there for actual years, years. And it was like bright red on the ceiling. One of those sticky hands you throw. So, <laughs> I have the exact same memory as you, exact same story. This is the new legacy build. Yeah, so it is, it is. Um, we're building it for the Bell family. I'm kind of doing their, 
unit first. Um, it was there till you moved and the paint behind was messed up. I, we all have the exact same experience with this, don't we? And that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, exact same situation here. It probably did stain. I bet they had to, I bet they had to like paint over it or something after they did get it down. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't remember what, cause they did get it down, but I think what happened, I think that the mom, like they, they were gonna repaint the house. I think they hired painters and I bet, I bet the painters are probably, cause they would have had the ladder and like painted the ceiling. I bet that they probably were the ones who got it down. So. All right, oh no, put the backpack back. Let's put it over here by this. Wait, I kind of want to have like some toys. I want to get some of the skill building stuff that we don't really use all that often. My first pet stuff. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it actually does fit. No, probably not. You just threw a wet washcloth at it until it fell off and that worked? Oh, that's kind of smart then. Um, maybe they could have like some of the little, cause there's a couple cute little poof type items. My first pet stuff. <laughs> maybe I could get them a couple of these. I don't know, maybe not that one. Although that strawberry swatch was kind of cute. I was more thinking something along the lines of this item. Cause it comes in like the purple color and in a pink color. And we can maybe use, I guess it comes in the, in the minty color that has a face on it as well. Maybe that's better. But then they could have like some seating. The My First Pet Stuff hamster wall charts. That's cute. My First Pet Stuff, My First Pet Stuff, My First Pet Stuff. <laughs> Look at this thing. This item is actually really good. It's like a height chart, but it has some really cute swatches, like some really genuinely very cute swatches on it. So we could use that. Okay, I like those snowy escape ones. We could probably leave the room like this too. I, I do wanna be sort of conscious of budget. I know we've kind of thrown that out the window already, but <laughs> I, I do wanna be relatively careful about the budget. <laughs> cause um, we aren't made of money. We're gonna have to be made of money cause I'm buying four units, but I don't want to, I don't want to overspend too much. <laughs> Toy chest at foot of bed. Oh, we could put a couple toys on the floor. Oh, we're going to have, there's going to be an infant in here because we're going to have a baby. So let me grab a couple things there. I like the idea of a toy box though. I don't really use that very often. That comes in a cute pink color. I do like that about it. Maybe I could get them like a helicopter, a panda, a llama, you know? Okay, so in the baby's room, we do have to be slightly conscious of the fact that the windows are purple. <laughs> Even if I don't want them to be purple, they are purple. So <laughs> we can cover them though a little bit, maybe. So it's not like so obvious. I'm not obsessed with that. What if I use that in the baby's room? Thought the pack was gonna be free permanently. Oh, my first pet stuff? No. <laughs> uh, they're, they're giving it out for free until January 18th? Correct me, I could be wrong. I think it's January 18th. Um, and when I say they're not, okay, so when I say giving it out for free until January 18th, I don't mean that they're gonna take it away from you. I mean that like, it's basically on sale for $0 until the 18th. Um, so you have a lot of time to claim it still, but it's gonna go back to costing money for people who get it after the 18th. But as long, oh, it's the 6th, it's, it's the 6th. You know what the 18th is? The 18th is the, the um, early bonus content for, the um, the Sims pack. You have until the 18th for the Sims pack to get the early bonus content. It's the sixth 
for the free My First Pet Stuff pack. It says ninth in the EA app. Oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know then. Um, it comes with the early bonus. Oh, it's a grill, an umbrella, and a fruit basket. It's cute, but not really worth needing to buy. Just, I mean, get the EA app or get on the EA app right now if you're at home and claim my first pet stuff now. You don't need to worry. Don't wait until January. Do it now. The next time you're at your PC, claim it. Um, you you should get it before then. You don't want to if you if you wait, then what if you miss out? You know. So you should get it before then. If it's if it's getting close to then, then don't let it. <laughs> and get it before it becomes time. Um, okay, I like that. Little baby's room. Or just not? What, or just not claim it? Well, I I can't support that plan. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> if the pack is free, I feel like you, when given the opportunity to get a free Sims pack, you know, get it. You you don't have to install it if you hate it that much, but when you have the opportunity to get a free Sims pack, you probably should. Like, don't don't miss out on the chance, you know? It's free. Free is always good. <laughs> you might as well just get it, so. Um. Okay, get this one, get this one. Yeah, and it actually has some cute rugs and some cute kids stuff. So that's a bonus too. Um, is there anything new I already bought previously? No, no, it's just on sale. It's it's basically just on sale for zero dollars. It's They're not adding anything extra. It's only if you don't have it that you have to worry about it. They put it on sale. Um, no, put this over here by this thing. Okay, good. Diapers, let's get some of the little diaper decorations. They have some really cute kids decorations now. Like, look at how good that is. Okay. Is no one else scared of rats? Oh, well, I like rats in real life. The rats in The Sims, you do gotta watch out for those things. <laughs> Char and Witch and Art, thanks for the subs. If it's free, it's for me. See, that's the spirit. Free is good. Free is good. Especially when it comes to games. Cause like, uh, same thing on, um, on the Epic Games Store, which is like the company that makes Fortnite, if you're familiar with that. Um, on the Epic Games Store, they have like free bundles of games pretty often. Um, like they, they genuinely have games that go on sale for free on Epic a lot. Um, and it's, it's worth like getting the Epic app and making an account, you know, cause it's free to do that. And then like checking periodically to see if they've got a game on sale for free that you might be interested in. Um, cause they have like some genuinely like good stuff, you know? Um, so. What has happened? Oh no. <gasps> Guys! Wait, I think my game's broken. Uh, when did I last save? I can't. I can't. Hold on. Alt F4 isn't doing anything. Oh no. When did I last save? No, Alt F4 is not doing anything, you guys. I already. Oh no. Oh no. Didn't you save in the kids' room? I hope I did. Escape doesn't work either. Windows button doesn't work either. 
screenshot doesn't work either. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot just on my PC quick, just in case. Why? This is the second time this has happened to me this week. As if we've ha not had enough trouble today. My whole PC froze earlier. My entire computer like froze and died in the beginning of my stream. I had to come back. This is probably not the time, but that was a good cow sound. What? And now, and now you're calling me a cow? <laughs> What's next? <laughs> What's next? Do I just have to force it? I have to force it, don't I? I have to just... Okay, I'm gonna close it from Task Manager. That truly makes me want to cry. I really mean it when I say that. Smashly, we are actively building for the legacy at the moment. Um, or we were, <laughs> until my game stopped working. <laughs> this is the house that we're working on for the Legacy Challenge. All right, well, I have my Legos um, while we get the game to reload. The these are the Legos that came in my advent calendar today. Um, it's like a, it's supposed to be a street light. Let me pull up the, let me get my tutorial real quick so I can see what I'm doing. It has some interesting pieces. There's like a little base thing um and then from there i put some of these guys and then here we go i get one of these guys and then hmm i've never seen some of these lego pieces before i'll show it to you in a minute this goes on top Okay, so today's Lego advent calendar, <laughs> hold on. Today's Lego advent calendar was this. So that's fun and cool. It actually is, it's kind of cute. So I actually kind of like it. That's fun. I have, it, they always come with extra pieces too. Like I have, these are extra, so that's also cool. Um, okay, well, I have a street light. You know what I don't have? A Sims build. When did I last save? When did I last save? Oh my God, uh, 609, it's 636. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh that's really bad, that's horrible. Today is not our day, nothing's going right right now. I'm actually scared to see what saved. I loved that room. It was so cute. Thank you to whoever told me to take a screenshot of it. Because I do have a screenshot of it, so we can recreate it. Am I gonna recreate it right now? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In no way am I gonna recreate that right now. That's that's a, another plan for the future. Even some of the yards aren't there. This is just, <laughs> today is going horribly. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> All of the, every, I just, okay, okay. Let's do the inside. Let's do the inside. We're gonna work on the floor plan. I had this random furniture. I had this random furniture here because it was like helping me uh, plot out where the stuff was gonna go. 
<laughs> okay. Dan's singing again if it makes you feel better. What's he singing this time? Is he singing on stream? I swear to you guys, a couple weeks ago, he sang the full all too well 10 minute version, Taylor Swift, twice. He pulled like karaoke up and he sang the whole thing. He was just going and going and going. <laughs> like, I actually, I admire it because I would never, I would never have the confidence to do that on stream. Like I, it's a funny meme, but I will, I won't sing for you. I won't. <laughs> Nothing has made me want to follow him more. <laughs> I mean, if you've considered following him, if this doesn't push you over the edge, then what, what will? Oh, and, oh, and it was auto-tuned. That's the other thing. He, it's because he got a new mixer, um, like, for his mic, and it had, it has, like, an auto-tune thing, so he was, like, messing with it. He was playing around with it. So he had, like, the auto-tune on, and he was saying the whole thing. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, uh, work on the kitchen then, shall we? Oh, I was still recording. Oh, here's a clip. Let's watch it together. <gasps> Kitten! In the name of being honest, I'm a Sunny, come here, sweetie. Come here, little tiny. <laughs> oh, it's quiet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They say all's well that ends well, but. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> Sunny left. I scared her away. Is she still. <gasps> Sunny, come here, sweetie. She didn't leave all the way. Sunny, we need you because we're having a really bad day. Come here, little tiny, come here. She's thinking about coming back. No, 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 Sunny, Sunny, Sunny. Ugh. She sniffed my hand and then she ditched me. What next? First my PC dies, then my game crashes. What, now my cat doesn't love me? <laughs> Bye, tiny. Okay, let's build. <laughs> let's build. She's she's doing better, uh, Oro. She hasn't scratched herself uh, in a few days. In fact, she kind of stopped scratching herself on uh, on Monday, but I could only get the vet appointment for Tuesday. So by that point, but anyway, it was good still to have them check her out. Basically, my kitten, she got spayed a couple weeks ago. And then I think the combination of like having her surgery and then she had to sleep separate from her brother overnight because I didn't want them to wrestle in the night because they kept playing too rough. Um, so they only wanted to have supervised time and I, you know, they couldn't sleep together because they weren't supervised. So anyway, I think the combination of her spay surgery and then separated from her brother made her feel very stressed. So she started scratching her neck a lot and then she gave herself a bald spot. But, and then I, I think that she itched it so much that she made it itchy. Anyway, she had to go to the vet and I got like little cream for her um, to help her with it, but she's not really doing it. So <laughs> she's okay. We The cream has helped, I think. They also took a test uh, to see if she has ringworm, but I don't think she has ringworm. Neither do they. Cause it's only her. And ev if she had a ringworm, everybody would have ringworm. I'd have ringworm. The other cats would have ringworm. I don't think she has ringworm, <laughs> but they did check just to be sure. <laughs> um, the, the vet, the vet and I both think that she was just stressed. So it makes sense when you're a tiny kitten, you have to go through all of that. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot. So I understand. They have a really cute yellow kitchen in their house right now. And I kind of would like to do that in this house. Yeah, this is the thing, right? So I, I really think that the um, having to sleep separate from shrimp, it seems like a non-issue. But the thing is, this is a, a kitten who, oh, Tiny, you came back. She has never been apart from, a, from cats before. Like she had her mommy and then she had her siblings and she's always been with shrimp. She's literally never been separate from shrimp. They are always together. Um, and so I think that them having to sleep apart was really hard for her, but she kept being chaotic and like wrestling him and you can't wrestle him when you had surgery yesterday. So anyway, um, that was the problem. <laughs> 
you can't she couldn't be trusted on the first couple days after her surgery but now she's fine <laughs> now everything is okay and they can be together <laughs> but um yeah it was a it was a rough couple days so um do I want it to be yellow? I think so. Are they still sleeping as a unit loaf? They don't sleep constantly as a as a little unit, but they sleep in a little ball a lot. I wouldn't say like every single time they sleep, they're sleeping in a ball, but but most times they are sleeping in a ball. So Imagine a human wanting to wrestle a day after a hysterectomy. This is the thing. It's not very smart. And now she's trying to play with my other headphones. You can't have that. That's not for kittens. So. Okay. Scoot that over. That's better. That is more like it. Um, Dan is singing a song from Waitress the Musical. That's a good one. I like Waitress. Um, okay. Are you going to play more Coral Island? I would like to. I very, very much enjoy Coral Island. Um, so I would like to play more. We shall see. Um, yeah, I like Waitress a lot. It's a really good musical. Me and Dan are gonna see- they're doing a, um, a- they filmed it, like they pro shot the- the musical, and they're gonna- oh! <gasps> Tiny! And they're, they're doing a, a limited run in movie theaters. And me and Dan are gonna go see it this weekend. Hold on, everybody. I'm getting you a kitten. Yes! <laughs> yes! That makes the day a lot better, Sunny. Thank you. We've been through a lot today. You just saved us. I really mean that. <sighs> okay. Um, no, no. No, no. Never mind. <laughs> it's short lived. <laughs> it's just so like. Oh my god. <laughs> she she didn't like it. She actually left. I think she. Le oh no, she's still there. Hi, Sunny. Oh, never mind. She's gone again. She's a weird one. Very very weird one. Um, <laughs> today's not the day. Today is not our day. It's okay. It's okay, everybody. We're gonna get through this. Need a senior cat that just sleeps? I, I have one of those. <laughs> I have a 15-year-old cat uh, who sleeps very peacefully. She's not in her office era right now, though. She's in her couch and dining room table era. Um, so she keeps not uh, sitting on the stream with us. But I, I do have a senior cat who just sleeps. So, I got, and then I have the two kittens that I found in a sewer. And those ones, they, well, let's just say they're busy. <laughs> they have lots to do and lots of places to be, if you will. Um, I really like this couch from Cottage Living. I don't know what the vibes are. This is kind of the vibes that I went for in the original house. Something else that I'm not obsessed with about this is just how open it is because I, I actually did kind of like the um, like slightly more closed off rooms. Um, but anyway. Where's the cat distribution system would choose you? You never know when it'll happen. And then all of a sudden you'll have sewer cats in your house. So, <laughs> maybe I should cut it in half. We could close off the living room a bit more. I'm not sure. If you don't save, I'm actually gonna, okay, we're fine. Um, maybe like, I don't know. I like having the island though. It would be kind of cool if we had, instead of an island, if we just had regular cabinets and then we had an arch in between the kitchen and the dining room though, right? I don't know. If we did, well actually, if we did it like this, we could maybe have more kitchen cabinets because we could have this wrap around a little bit. 
And we could get ourselves like kind of a U-shaped kitchen. And that might be kind of nice. It fits, it's quite small still. Um, and that's what I was hoping for. So it kind of fits the vibes. Can you tell the kittens part besides their size? Yeah, the kittens, they're both black, um, but they're, everything about them is very different. Like, like they're, one of them is huge and one of them small. So that's part of it. But also like Sunny's face is very different looking than Shrimp's. His head is very wide and big. Um, hers is kind of small and pointy. She has like bug eyes. She's like always got her eyes so wide <laughs> every time you look at her. So her expression is just very obviously her. Um, and then like their behaviors are different, you know? Um, like the places they hang out, the things they do, the way they act, um, it's just different. Yeah, Alex, Shrimp will definitely be bigger than Snap. By the time that he's full grown, he'll definitely be bigger than my, my older cat. Um, he's, he's almost bigger than her already. They're like about the same size right now, but I think Snap still weighs more than him because he hasn't filled out at all. And she's like a normal adult cat. Um, she weighs like eight pounds and I bet Shrimp probably weighs like seven. And he's, he's kind of lanky cause he's only a baby. But when he gets a little bit bigger, um, yeah, their other brother also looks really different. Their, their other brother who my parents kept, um, he, I sort of describe him as being like a real mix between the two of them. He looks like, he kind of has the pointy face, but he's bigger. He has less bug eyes, <laughs> you know? He's like normal cat. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, let's see. I want stuff from the paranormal pack. This is kind of the vibe of the furniture that we had in the old house. And I don't know if this is what we're going for again. It does make the kitchen cabinets kind of random, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Where's the mom of those cats? My, my parents adopted her too. My parents adopted the mom and the other baby. Um, so she lives in my parents' house. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of cats around these parts nowadays. <laughs> Lots of cats literally everywhere in this household. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like this. Yeah, I think the pink and yellow is cute too. And it reminds me of the vibes of their other house. And that's kind of what I would like to maintain. I would like to keep sort of the vibes of their other house, but just being able to make it bigger and, and like a little bit better laid out because now they have more Sims that need to live there. So, oh God, I have the land grabs furniture. That is the last thing I need. These dining room chairs are from the paranormal stuff pack, believe it or not. Um, they're pretty good actually. Uh, I feel like you wouldn't expect the paranormal pack to have as much good furniture as it does, but it really does. Um, no, so seasick cats can't really have family visits in the way that like people sometimes try to project onto them um, and, and the way that like maybe a dog would like to do. Um, cats, they don't, like the, the kittens, they would not remember mom or recognize mom. They wouldn't recognize their brother. In fact, it would probably stress them out a lot to interact with like a strange cat who like smells weird and different and like they, they wouldn't, I feel like even Frank at this point, Frankie's the mom. She probably wouldn't even recognize the, the son that she lives with as her son. They sort of uh, get into like, this is a resident cat who lives with me mindset, as opposed to like the family thing that we try and project um, onto them. They they don't do play dates. Cats are very territorial and uh, they don't like travel well. You might have the rare cat who does, but for the most part, they're, it's just not, they wouldn't like it. Um, they, they, they wouldn't enjoy that experience. <laughs> that would be like, you know, we as a human might think it's cool, but the, the cats, um, they wouldn't see it that way. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not, they're not really like dogs um, who, who might behave differently, you know? Um, 
Yeah, like this is the thing. Sometimes cats have uh, something called non-recognition aggression. Not all cats do, but some cats do. Um, and what that means is sometimes cats, if they haven't seen, um, like there, it could be like my two cats, Shrimp and Sunny. Um, they live together, okay? They are best friends who have spent their entire lives together at this point. But uh, sometimes if you take like a cat to the vet and it has surgery or something, um, and then it comes home and it smells different, the other resident cat won't recognize it. Um, like they, they won't realize because it now smells like the vet and the surgery and they have to like take them time and they get aggressive, which is bad. But not all cats have that, only some cats do. But they rely so much on scent to recognize their, their friends. Um, it's pretty rough, so. Also, someone asked if we still have Snap. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, she's downstairs right now. Okay. Yeah, poor Hope, um, Goose Kingdom in chat has some kind of dramatic cats. So, it happens. Um, yeah, and it, uh, one of my other mods, um, Tara, who's, who's Capel in chat, you've seen that name before. Tara also had some trouble with it as well with their cats um, not recognizing each other after something like that. Um, okay, I don't like that. Do I want a microwave? I don't really care about a microwave, but I think I would like to have a kettle, the new kettle. I want cat one day. I love cats. Cats are like the the light of my life <laughs> right now. My entire life revolves around cats. I know that sounds pretty dramatic to say, but it's true. <laughs> like everything in my life revolves around these kittens at the moment. So, I mean, it always did with Snap, but like now that I have more cats, it's really um, even more so, so. What about a waffle maker for Nina? Oh yeah, we gotta get Nina's waffle maker back too. Cause Nina always had a a waffle maker and a stand mixer. Um, yeah, we can't have a microwave. <laughs> the microwave is out, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> have I owned a dog before? Yeah, growing up, um, my family had dogs my entire life. My, my family still has dogs. My parents have three dogs. Um, and I sort of consider those dogs to be like my dogs because I grew up with them. Um, but yeah, I, I've had dogs in my life a lot. <laughs> So, um, I don't currently live with any dogs, but to answer your question, yes. <laughs> um, no, that's the baby, Icky. That's the baby. The servo's name is Nina, which might make little sense to you, but that is what the servo's name is. <laughs> Okay, okay. Maybe I'll use a smaller one of these archways. Um, maybe the skinnier one is better. Okay. Maybe the peach swatch on the tile. Yeah, in the other house, we, we had, it doesn't really come in peach. It comes in like beige. I don't know if I want to use the beige or not. Um, and the pink is very bright. In the other house, we had like a lot of color happening um and i really liked it um but save please besties i just saved like two seconds ago i haven't even done anything since i saved last oh i don't like the corner piece on these cabinets so never mind um i haven't even done anything since i last saved <laughs> all i did was change the archway <laughs> um let me see, maybe the for rent stuff, maybe I could use this. I don't know, I don't actually don't know if I like that. There's also one from Tiny Living that's kind of cute. Everybody wants to cry because of what happened to us with the game crash, so. And now we've learned that this build is gonna take us like literal weeks probably to finish, so that's no good. <laughs> that is no good. Um, okay. Maybe I will let them have the six chairs. I like six chairs there. Multiple streams are in order for this for this one. Whether we like it or not, it's gonna take us a while to finish. Oh, I hate medium wall light. There's no good lights. 
None of them come down far enough. I don't really know if I want to use those or not. Maybe the blue is okay. Next stream is on Monday. No, we're going to stream tomorrow. Um, but then, yes, next stream is on Monday. Well, that's the other thing is my cat shrimp is getting neutered on Monday. So I might be... The problem is, um, like, when I had to pick up Sunny from her spay, and I think that maybe shrimp will be done sooner, but when I had to pick up Sunny from her spay, uh, the vet called for me to pick her up at 3.30, and I usually go live at 4. So, like, it was not ideal timing, you know, for... Um, for us to stream that day <laughs> because um, I, I was like actively on the way back from the vet when I would usually have gone live and then I wanted to help take care of her. So I'm going to stream on Monday, but uh, basically I, I don't know what time exactly I'll be live on Monday because it sort of depends on how shrimp is doing and, um, and what's going on, you know? It's up to him, not me. There's a black cat. Oh, the cruise ship took me like a full week to build. <laughs> that was a rough day or a rough week, I guess. I did a big giant cruise ship build and it took me ages to finish. So, uh, Lilith, me, Ramirez, thank you for the subs. All right, maybe, let me pick the wallpaper in here too. I think in the other house, I had some pretty like paneling on the wallpapers and I quite like that, I think. Um, I want the, is it under, which one am I looking for? This one, sorry. I like how this looks. I think this is like fancy in the right way for me with this. I don't know if the curtains look good. Maybe they could be... Well, the curtains could maybe be pink. Yikes. Oh, they could also be the light green color. Because that brings out the green in the rug. Whoa, what do we think about that, everybody? I think that could be kind of cool. It's colorful and fun, maybe? Oh, and it matches the lights too, duh. Okay, that's good. That is really good, actually. Um, hey, Sarah, Ella, thank you for the subs. You don't like the green curtains, okay. <laughs> well, you're not gonna like this house probably then. I, I mean that with like, with love. Um, it's, it's probably gonna have a lot of things that you won't like in it <laughs> if you don't like the green curtains. Um, okay, maybe I could put this over here. That's not really a good color. Of course it comes in all of these ridiculous shades of wood, but not one that I'm actively using. Because that would just make too much sense if it match. That'd be too easy. Is this for green gen? No, this is for my uh, YouTube Sims. It's a series that I've been playing on my YouTube channel. The idea of this build is to have like us live in one unit, to have our parents live next door, and then kind of have like a multi generational thing going on um, is kind of what I'm going for with this. So can I please upload the Oasis Springs build to the gallery? It's it's completely empty MCG. I haven't finished building it yet. Um, I have to finish it still. We have a, a whole bunch of partially finished builds that we have to work on this week. Um, I will finish it. I will finish it. We just, I want to finish it first. I don't want to upload it half finished to the gallery. That's not helpful for anybody. Um, unless you mean the trailers that we built like yesterday, uh, those are already on the gallery. I did get those up. Okay. Um, but you probably mean the bigger one and in which case it's, it's not done. So I wanna hold off a little bit longer until I can finish it. I hate to upload like a half done one and then upload a done one in like two more days, you know? Like I just don't um, really have any desire to do that. So I'll try and finish it first and then put it up. Okay, that's gonna end up being scooted over just a smidge more. So that means that these need to be over a bit. If we can get this room done, that will make me feel a lot better about today. I was really stressed about this when my game crashed and my whole PC died. 
I almost started crying. I keep saying this, but you guys don't understand. When in the beginning of stream, when my PC was like just completely broken, <laughs> that was too much for me. <laughs> I did not need that today, but we made it through. We made it through. It's fine. It's fine. I think on this wall, I'm going to put a lot of art um, and a lot of like, because it's a legacy challenge, this house that I'm going to be playing in. Um, I want to have a lot of spaces to have like my Sims pictures on the walls and and all kinds of stuff like that hung up. I want to like really embrace that. Um, so I sort of like the, the gallery wall-esque vibes. We also have like their college diplomas <laughs> and all sorts of things like that that we can try and add in. Um, we'll, we'll have like some of their own clutter from home to put on that wall, which will be good. Okay, um, they do need a spot to feed the cat. We're also gonna need a spot for the cat's litter box. But I may put the cat's litter box just like in the living room. It also would be nice, I feel like, to have a cat tree. Do you think the cat tree could be in the kitchen? Or is that too much? Litter box in the basement. Oh, I guess we have basement access, that's true. A lot of cats wouldn't like that if they had their litter in the basement. Um, cats like to have their litter kind of in the uh, busy areas, <laughs> you know? Um, but a lot of people want to have their cats litter in the basement. So that looks bad. That's absolutely horrendous. It's the space, the chimney. Oh, in the space of the chimney. Yeah, maybe, I was thinking about putting I don't really know. In the chimney space is good, but... Um, put it in the bathroom. The bathrooms are quite small. Um, so... I mean, Dika, I guess it kind of depends on the cat. Um, they they want to have some degree of privacy, but also feel safe. So being, like, around people it makes them feel better. Um, but it kind of depends. I'm gonna save now, quick. <laughs> yeah, the swatches on the cat furniture are really not that good. <laughs> I don't like them that much. The cat furniture in this game could use some better swatches. They're probably never gonna go back and fix it either. Because the, I mean, the cat stuff is done. Like, they're not making any more pet items, are they? So, that is a shame. Do you think it's good to have the extra bar stools? I think it's nice to have the extra bar stools, right? All right, maybe they'll do a pet kit. I think people would be really mad about that. The thing is, I would love for them to give us more stuff for pets. It just sucks that pets are in a pack, so they can't really like do that. <sighs> they did give, um, we have, Sometimes we get some like cross pack compatibility. Like, um, for example, we got in just this pack, there's a pet adoption event in For Rent that happens where um, sometimes your neighbors will like host a pet adoption event and then like a bunch of strays will come to your lot all day, <laughs> which is actually kind of fun, I would say. Um, but that's, that's one of the new features from the pack. So they do give us some cross pack stuff on occasion, but I'd like to have more for pets. Cause it's so fun. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. I really was excited about that when I saw it happen to my Sim. I really liked it. Okay, in this corner, what sort of wall decor but I need to adopt them all. Yeah, it happened to me for the first time when I was doing a rags to riches thing with Stanley Humphrey. And the benefit of playing my ridiculous rags to riches save is that I didn't feel inclined to adopt <laughs> an animal <laughs> with Stanley. Like uh, I, I have some self-control when I'm doing something like that, where I know that he, he did not have the space or any desire to have anything like that. Like he just didn't need one, <laughs> so. That helped, I guess. Um, cool kitchen. 
uh, Christo, I usually stream for about three hours. I'll probably get off stream in a few minutes-ish here. Um, to be honest, I don't know how much more of this bill I can take today after the, the number of uh, glitches and problems that we've had. So I, I might need to come back to this one with some fresh eyes in a couple of days. <laughs> this is the kind of build that we may need to <laughs> take a second on. Well, tomorrow, we'll work on it tomorrow, but... <laughs> She's been, she's been causing me some issues, so we might need to revisit her. You started keeping wellness treats handy so you can treat six stray Sims cats. I love that though. And I'll be here at this time tomorrow um, for Eastern time. It's seven Eastern time now, so. I'm, I'm impressed you're still going. Yeah, I mean, there, there was, there, the thought did cross my mind to just stop <laughs> when the game crashed. I furnished these bedrooms. I really liked the kids' bedroom. And then the game crashed, so. The thought, the thought did cross my mind to say, you know what, maybe I could just give up. <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't. That's the spirit, everybody, that's the spirit. I am liking the kitchen in this house, though. I think this is kind of cute. Oh, I don't know about that. Wait, maybe I could get this and then what's the little cookbook item? Go back. Cool kitchen. This thing is so cute. Let's put that in the corner. Right? Because it comes in some fun swatches. Okay, and then they can cook on this counter and this counter. And this wall item is from Tiny Living. I think it needs to be over so they can open that cabinet. You love the yellow cabinets? Don't tell Shella though. <laughs> I won't tell her. I won't tell her. Shh, she doesn't need to know. That can be a private thing. Just between me and you. Yeah, the pot holders are so tiny <laughs> in comparison to everything else. Ugh, okay. Livy, Lonely, Sarah, thank you for the subs. Maybe I'll furnish this bathroom quick too. Just so we can feel like we've made more progress. And the kitchen cabinets are from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. I do like that. That's probably not very smart of me though. Maybe, okay, how about this? What if we had a big shower tub combo in this bathroom and in this one downstairs, it's just a shower. So we give ourselves some more wiggle room with the money situation. That's probably better. You haven't gotten that one yet? Yeah, Home Chef Hustle, honestly, I think it's one of the best stuff packs they've ever made. I, I really, really like it. The gameplay in it is fun, but also it has a lot of nice, really useful items for your Sims builds. Like anytime there's a really solid new kitchen, it's always a win, but but that pack in particular, because it came with um, like all of the new kitchen appliances and stuff, uh, I really, really like that about it. I think it's a fun one to use. So, um, okay, toilet paper. How do you do the quick delete? Oh, if you press the delete key on your keyboard, um, you can like basically instantly delete stuff. And they need two lights, it's kind of dark. Okay, backspace will put stuff in your household inventory and delete will sell it. Yeah, I like the realism of prepping ingredients too. And it's always fun to have like extra recipes. Um, this needs to be gold. I'm sorry, that looks bad. Litter box? I'm gonna put a litter box outside of this room. I'm not gonna put it in the bathroom. I didn't forget about it, don't worry. But I'm, I'm not gonna put a litter box in the bathroom, I don't think. Probably gonna put it out of outside of here instead. Dan is singing again. <laughs> Everybody always gives me live updates. As soon as Dan starts singing on stream, they're like, oh, here we go. <laughs> he likes to sing. It's actually kind of cute. Sorry, that was gross. I should stop saying stuff like that, but. Oh, he never stopped singing. He always sings, right? <laughs> Ew, affection, gross. Sorry, everybody, that was disgusting. 
Oh, I said I was gonna get off stream and now I'm still doing this. Um. Okay. No, 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 no. Maybe if we put... Do you think this comes in any colors that are... No, not really. Not what I wanted, at least. What about the ones from Werewolves? Because they have some cute small rugs. Do you stream on weekends? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be here tomorrow. I stream, um, I stream every day except Sunday. Um, Sunday is the day that I don't stream, um, and I take Sundays off stream because otherwise I would never see my parents. <laughs> because, like, my parents, they work and stuff, you know, so they're busy during the week and then, um, going at nighttime over there isn't always ideal, so. <laughs> um, okay. Um... I need that. Maybe like, oh, can that be over one actually? Cause it looks better on the walls. There's not a good spot for me to have a little place for my Sims. Um... I think they can still get into the bathroom with it, with it right there. I wanna have a spot to put like, um, you know this thing, I really like this. And I think this is a good way to have like storage for your Sims stuff. Although it might also fit by the front door if I scoot it and I put it like right here. Oh, I could probably scoot that into the wall. Oh, that's gonna be fine. Never mind. Sorry, everybody. That's gonna be fine. Can we get a pet free build? Oh, I don't usually get asked that. Um, so, so warning you now, this build is not pet free because I'm building this for Sims that I'm playing with and they have a cat. Um, so this, this build can't be pet free. I feel like a lot of my builds are pet free. Like they don't have pets in them. Um, but I'm going to save again. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Uh, no reason if Pip and anxious, thank you for the subs too. Um, anyway, you could also, if you needed to, you could like delete the pet objects, I guess, um, if you wanted to use this build really badly, um, and you were uh, like sad that it had pet stuff in it. But, um, in general, I think most of the builds that I do have no pets, cause I don't always put cat stuff. All the builds that I've done this week have had no pets cause I built them without the pack installed, so. The rug by the front door is giving Christmas. It kind of is a little bit. It kind of is a little bit. Um, and that's that's the other thing. Speaking while we're talking about packs, um, oftentimes in my builds, I I sometimes not often. I sometimes try to limit the packs that I'm using. But in this case, with this particular build, because I'm making this for my Sims um, and like the Sims that I am actively playing with in my YouTube series. Uh, I'm not really limiting packs here. I'm kind of just using whatever I want to for my own personal gameplay with this particular house. Um, so that might not be ideal for you. <laughs> um, and for that reason, I apologize, but um, I am building this like for me to use for my Sims. So I'm kind of putting anything anywhere and not really trying to limit the packs that I'm using, if that makes sense. I hate that swatch, it's too bright. I like this though. I think it's good vibes and we have more space than we did before. Before the house was probably like, like this size on two stories. Um, and now we have like all the extra bedroom areas. So that lamp is actively catching fire. I mean, yeah, the lampshade probably gonna catch on fire, but that's fine. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know? <laughs> oh, well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Should we use the radiator? This is gonna catch my Sims curtains on fire, isn't it? I was warned about this. They said, a radiator caught my Sims curtains on fire. And I said, uh-oh, that can't be good. And yet I'm gonna use it anyway. So, we're used to fire in this household. You're right, that's a great way of putting it, exactly. These Sims, they have fire toilets and stuff. They're used to it. They like it. 
Um, you know what? I do really like this item. I always like the colors on it a lot. I don't know what... This little guy is always a winner too. Wouldn't it be a shame if we put the radiator right next to the curtain so they can catch fire? Well, I didn't know the radiators could catch fire until someone told me. And now my life has changed. <laughs> They they told me the radiators can catch fire and all of a sudden I need to have my sims radiator catch fire Someone in chat said it happened to them. So now I'm really excited about it On my third try I finally got my peachy babies order in. Oh, I was gonna try and buy some tonight Do you guys think that it's sold out? So you know how I did that sponsor? Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine, it's still there. I did that sponsored slime stream a few weeks ago, and I was thinking, it's my, my sister's not here. She's at her friend's house. Um, I'm gonna, cause my sister had like a massive slime phase as a kid, um, where she like, she even like ruined my parents' dining table by making slime and getting like glitter in the cracks of the wood. Um, and so I wanted to buy Shanna some of the slime for Christmas, but I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to get. So I was like holding off for the restock tonight, but they're still there so I can buy some. <laughs> One of them looks like lemon, really? Oh, I'm excited. I haven't looked through it really. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get Shanna some slime for, for Christmas. So, okay, when does your Sims merch come? Oh, I have my Sims merch. I actually filmed the video on it today. I was holding off, I, it came last week, but I was busy with the pack. Um, my Sims merch did come. The water bottle was the biggest disappointment to me. Look at this, the water bottle, it came with um, like sticker pack to put on it, but the sticker sheets, it was the same ones twice. So I was sad about that. I thought I was gonna get like lots of stickers and stuff, but it, it's not. And this was $35. So I was kind of displeased by that. I like the stickers, but I don't know. Can you see it in full cam? Yeah. I wouldn't buy this if I were you. Just literally get any water bottle and any stickers, like, too much. I bought, um, I did buy apparel. In fact, I bought everything. Literally everything, so I can make a video on it. My favorite thing, aside from the pins, were these. They have, like, postcards of, um, some of the Sims worlds. And I want, I bought them because I wanted to frame them and hang them up on my wall. And I think they're really nice. I really like them. They have them. You might recognize a couple of them because they have the thing in game. It's from Growing Together, but they have, um, the picture in Growing Together only has four swatches for whatever reason. Um, but there's six of them in this, but they have like Windenburg, um, they've got Strangerville, we've got Forgotten Hollow, and they also have Mount Komorebi. The extra is that we have the Horse Ranch World, um, and they also have Sulani in the um, in the postcards. But like, look, in real life, <laughs> isn't that so cool? Like, I just, I'm really excited about these. So I'm gonna get a frame for them all and hang them up. Um, Cause I think they look really good. So these are pretty. This is like the exact kind of thing I want out of the Sims merch store. I want them to make stuff that is like in the game and then give it to us so we can have them. Because you know how I have those posters behind me? Those are from City Living. They gave them to me at the City Living event years ago. Can they give me an eyeball ring, please? That's the thing. Imagine if they sold an eyeball ring. Like if they made a real eyeball ring, come on. Wouldn't that be so funny? I, I just think that's, I, I think I would actually like wear that on stream and like joke about it all the time. Um, could the Sulani one be? Uh, Tom Ring? I don't think so, because it has, um, this is the waterfall from Sulani. And you see how that kind of looks like it says Sulani? Um, obviously it's The Sims, but, you know. Eyeball ring? You mean engagement ring? Would you propose an eyeball ring? Yes or no? Answer me now, chat. And there's a mermaid tail? Oh, and there's literally a mermaid tail. Yeah, there's literally a mermaid tail. <laughs> Um, I would, I would. Me, I don't even wear rings right now. I, I don't even wear my own engagement ring. But uh, if I had an eyeball ring, maybe I'd wear it, Dan. You ever thought about that, Dan? <laughs> I don't wear any rings, but if it was an eyeball ring, then maybe I would. <laughs> yeah, 
the stuff sold out really fast, Girls Rock. It was kind of, it was rough. Not even here to defend himself. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I like my ring. I just don't really care about jewelry. I mostly only wear my rings when I'm like, if I'm like dressing up, you know, but I don't really wear it on a day-to-day -day basis because I fidget with it too much. Um, I do like it, but I just don't really wear a lot of jewelry at all. So, anyway. People get really offended by that too. Like the, the Twitch chat, all these comments all the time. Where's your wedding ring? Where's your wedding ring? Me, 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 me. I don't just don't really wear jewelry. <laughs> I don't know. But there, the, I think people want to read into it like there's some sort of drama, but no, there's not. I just don't really wear jewelry. <laughs> so um, some people always keep them on non, like nonstop, but I just don't really care. <laughs> Rice, thank you for the gifted subs. Um, but yeah, I get it. Like some people are really, they feel very strongly about never taking it off, but I don't know. Um, it's just not really my thing, you know? <laughs> never wore yours. Yeah, a lot of people don't, I don't know. It's not very traditional to not wear them and that's why people get kind of up in arms about it. But anyway, my finger needs to breathe. <laughs> I don't even know if I feel that way. I just, I just mess with it too much. I, I, same thing, when I wear earrings, I can't stop myself from, like, I'll, I'll, like, hurt my ears by, like, messing with the, the back of it and, like, fidgeting with it, um, and when I wear my rings, I, like, take them on and off constantly, um, and I, you know, it's just not, anyway, where do I keep it then? It's, um, on, on, in, like, a little jewelry dish on my dresser, so, both of them are. I think I want an engagement hair tie. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> the only thing I wear every day is a hair tie. See, you get an engagement hair tie. <laughs> I like it. I think that's cute. Engagement scrunchie, you know? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Don't tell people where you keep your valuables, bestie. Um, okay, so Savory, <laughs> first of all, my ring is not expensive. <laughs> it's, um, it's valuable to me, but it's not like an expensive ring. It's not like a diamond or anything. Um, second of all, if you're gonna break into my house, I got bigger problems than that. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I like this build. I, I was mad at it for a bit because it had its its moment where my game crashed and stuff, but I think it'll be fun. Once it's all like fully um, built up and added to, it's gonna be really cute too. I'm gonna be excited about it. Um, I don't know. Your ex got you a $30 ring from the flea market and you still treasure it? Well, so uh, when my friend Emrys, you all probably know Emrys because um, we play Among Us together, but Emrys and their partner got married at TwitchCon uh, when we were in Vegas. So we all went to the wedding. Um, and that afternoon, they went to the thrift store to buy clothes to wear to the wedding. And they also bought rings to wear, um, but they like didn't fit. <laughs> so they just bought whatever ring fit. And then they like used that as their wedding rings at the ceremony. I thought that was really beautiful to be honest. I like actually really loved that. I think that was really special. It was, it was so wild. Picture like all of us who play Among Us crying <laughs> at, this, at this place in Vegas, going to Everest's wedding. <laughs> um, it was actually really special, I thought. And then we did karaoke afterward. Everybody went to karaoke afterward. Um, so I thought it was great. <laughs> it was actually really fun. It was a good time. And then that was right after, um, they had, uh, Emrys and Momo had organized a, a murder wedding in Among Us. They said, come watch us get married. And then they killed everybody. And then I went to Emrys' real wedding, which actually was ill-advised considering my experience with Emrys' weddings prior to that moment, but no one died at Emrys' real, real wedding. So that was good. Um. <laughs> that Dan slayed at karaoke. He did, he did sing one song. Actually, you would be surprised. Everybody was kind of, honestly, they were going off. It was pretty good. I didn't sing because I'm too scared. I just watched them, but um, everybody did a really good job. Like, I was really impressed. <laughs> you, 
You can't imagine Kayla actually doing karaoke. Yeah, I didn't sing. I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous. I wouldn't be able to stand up and do that in front of people. It was actually really fun. I'd never been to a, like, a karaoke thing before, um, so it was kind of fun doing that. I also thought that it was, like, it was a really nice way to, to have, like, organized time with the group in a private space at the convention because there, there's, like, 20 people, you know, and it's hard to get dinner for that many people because it's hard to get reservations. And then, and then you're like sat, you kind of only talk to people next to you at the dinner table. So it was actually really good for a, a thing like that because we had a room rented out at the karaoke place. So everybody could kind of interact and talk. Um, and like still we had space for everyone and like the place let you order food in there. Um, so we, we like ordered pizza to the place, <laughs> you know, like it, um, it was pretty good. It was, a, I think, a good way to go about that with when you're like stuck at a convention and trying to find space to hang out with everyone. Um, pizza just kept showing up in front of me. Yeah, no one knew how many pizzas to order, so there was a lot of pizza left over. Um, but it was okay. Some of the people had a, a kitchen in their hotel room, so they were able to keep it and eat it for breakfast the next day. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I, I liked it. It was a good time. <laughs> so... Okay, okay. I think we probably should head out from stream soon, though, because um, I've not done any building in a minute. <laughs> Sorry this stream was so chaotic with, like, the crashing and the stream dying and all this stuff. Um, we will be here tomorrow working on this more. Um, if you want to be here, um, we'll be here tomorrow. Did you, Lily? When me and Dan got married, we, um, we went to a vegan restaurant in Orlando with my parents afterward. Um, and then went back to my parents' house, and then that night, we ordered pizza. So. It was a nice day. It was a nice day. <laughs> I have been, Sandy. That's where we went. I Here's the thing. There's this place called Ethos in Orlando. It's a vegan restaurant. It's a very long-standing vegan restaurant here, and everybody always recommends it as, like, the vegan spot to go to. Here's the thing. I will never badmouth them, because... We need more vegan places here in Orlando. I don't think it's like that good. Everything I've had there, aside from the garlic knots, has been mediocre. But you should still go if you come here. The thing is, everything everything is like fine, <laughs> aside from the garlic knots. The garlic knots, legendary. Everything else, meh. But don't tell anybody that, okay? Shh. It's good. You should support them. <laughs> but it's not the best. It's not the best. Um, yeah, they're okay. It's not amazing, but it's good. There isn't a lot of options, so it's a nice, like, sit-down place um, to go to. We have a handful of good vegan places around here, but um, as you tell 4,000 people, listen, I'll never badmouth them. We love our local vegan restaurants, <laughs> but it wasn't the best. It wasn't, it's not the best. It's not the best. I bring a lot of people there when they come into town as well. Um, like Hope went, she was like, it's fine. <laughs> so anyway, my dad really likes it. My dad is obsessed with shepherd's pie. Um, and they call it sheep's pie at this place. And he always, he's like, I want to get my sheep's pie. Um, he really wants to go there. He likes that place a lot. So he likes it. <sighs> you know, that's a good sign. He has raving reviews about it. <laughs> and Dan likes it a lot too. I like it, but it's not my favorite place. So. Now I really want garlic knots. Yeah, I could go for some garlic knots too. It's a shame. I don't have any garlic knots. Well, yeah, Hope, you're lucky. Next time you come, Hope, there's another place. Um, it's actually in the same spot where, if you guys have been to Disney World, you know about Gideon's probably. It's like this cookie restaurant in Disney Springs that's wildly popular. It's just ridiculous. Um, they have, their original location was not in Disney Springs. It was like um, more in Orlando. And um, the same place that that is, there's another vegan spot. Um, it's called the Winter Park Biscuit Company. Um, and they're a vegan spot and they have like, like fake fried chicken and stuff. Um, they just have kind of weird hours because they're open like during the day and not really at night. <laughs> um, but they're, they're pretty good too. So anyway, um, what's a biscuit in American? Uh, it's like, so they have, they basically have like Southern food. Um, it's biscuits are a kind of bread. Uh, they are like this. Hold on, I show you. I'm getting you a picture, everybody. 
homemade biscuits. Um, they are good. They are really good. Um, it's like nice bread. It's not crunchy. It is a little bit on the outside, but it's very soft. And people make like breakfast sandwiches and stuff in them. Um, so we had them. Yes, you would have had them at Red Lobster last year. Red Lobster has like cheddar biscuits, famously. Um, like a scone? Maybe a little. I don't know. It's savory and you shouldn't um, call them a scone because I think that's not nice to people who make them. <laughs> I don't really think it's much like a scone at all, but if that makes you feel better to call it that, you can call it that. Um. <laughs> I think it's softer. It's it's more like a roll, like a bread roll. Hope says you can't call it a scone. I don't think that they're called scones in the UK because I don't think that you have them in the UK. When Dan's family was here, they got KFC and they were like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever had. What is this about these biscuits? So I don't think that um, it's a thing that you have. <laughs> I don't think that you can equate it to a to a scone really <laughs> they're kind of different um i think they like them yeah dan doesn't like them dan complains about them he thinks that they're weird but anyway <laughs> we're learning a lot together today aren't we this picture looks like scones but they don't taste like scones there you go <laughs> you just don't really have them, I think. Oh, that's the cat cam. Um, they're, they're just not really a thing that you guys have. Hard to equate them to anything because you don't really have them. You guys don't really do this kind of food at all. I, I, listen to this, you guys. If you're American, this is going to shock you. The British people love KFC. They love it. They're, like, obsessed with KFC, okay? They don't really have a lot of fried chicken places. So, like, KFC is their gold standard, from my understanding. They love KFC. No biscuits. No mac and cheese. <laughs> you can go there, you can get a bowl of rice. They got spicy rice at KFC in the UK. No biscuits, no mac and cheese. What? That's like the whole, that... <laughs> but they don't have it. Isn't that bizarre? But, so the mac and cheese is like staple southern food. Like you can't, you can't have a place like that and not have mac and cheese. But they don't have it there. They have a rice! And they think that's normal. <laughs> like, the mac and cheese is the only reason anybody would go to KFC. Like, yeah. They have mashed potatoes and gravy, I'm pretty sure. But there's no mac and cheese and no biscuits. Bizarre. The lack of biscuits is, like, the weirdest part. Because, like, KFC, biscuits, hand in hand. Like, anyway. <laughs> and their baked beans are in tomato sauce. Oh, Dika, I would love to know what the KFC in Italy's menu is like. <laughs> I bet it's so different. I bet it's so different. Yeah, our baked beans are wildly different than yours, too. The baked beans that we have and the baked beans that you have, so different. They don't taste anything like our baked beans. They're not bad, but they're so different. Our baked beans are, like, kind of sweet. Like, they're kind of, like, barbecue saucy here, usually. We have, like, barbecue baked beans. Which I guess has tomato in it, but they don't- it doesn't taste like tomato. They- they are barbecue-y here, usually. So. Drama. <laughs> Big drama. It's like a smoky sweet sort of flavor, you know? You're making me hungry? I'm sorry. <laughs> You don't have mac and cheese at KFC in Australia either? That makes sense to me. I'm horrified, but it makes sense. Okay, I have to cook dinner now. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> I for and Mango and Risa and Duchess and Matt, thank you for the subs. You had UK KFC two hours ago, really? That's funny. McDonald's, one more thing. My experience is with, is with the UK more so than anywhere else because I, Dan is from the UK. I'm married to a British person, so I've been to the UK a lot. They're McDonald's, listen to this mozzarella sticks their mcdonald's is so much better than ours they have they have like a mcplant vegan burger we don't have that 
they have the mozzarella sticks. They've got all kinds of stuff. They have all, like way more wraps than we do. They have like a veggie wrap that has, um, it's kind of weird. They're like chicken fingers almost, except it's, it's like veggies inside and then it's fried. They have a wrap of that. You can just get those on its own. They have all kinds of stuff that we don't have here. The wraps are actually like kind of iconic. They're pretty good. So McDonald's here is way worse than America. Way worse. We have way less stuff. Um, there's like nothing I can eat there. So England wins this one. <laughs> I hate to say it, but England wins this one. No, we don't have veggie dippers. I know they're so good too. I actually like them. Oh, Domino's in the UK, vegan cheese. They have, not all their cheese is vegan, but they have vegan cheese at Domino's. At Domino's! Here? No way. No, they would never, they would never. But they have vegan cheese at Domino's. Their Domino's is also really expensive. Like, probably double the price as it is here. So, anyway, we can stop now. <laughs> the UK, they know how to, do, they, they're, they're better at a few things. Fast food is one of them. <laughs> they win that. They win that for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go probably find someone to raid who's also playing Sims. Um, oh, I know what to do. Where do you live, the UK or Florida? I live in, I live in Florida, but my husband is from the UK. He moved here a couple years ago with me. Um, so I've been to the UK a fair amount. Oh, I was gonna raid Bruin, but Bruin's on a BRB scene. Should I wait? Because Bruin's stream title is Land Grabbing All the Land for My King. And that just seems like a lot of fun. Doesn't it? Land Grabbing All the Land? Like, oh, Bruce back! Okay. <laughs> this is where I want to be. <laughs> Can we talk more about food? I'm hungry. No, I gotta go eat dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> we gotta stop. Uh, but I will be here this time tomorrow. We can talk more about... Um, the British tomorrow if <laughs> we can finish our build. Uh, thank you for hanging out, everybody. I had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, despite the chaos, I had a lot of fun tonight. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. You guys probably know Bruin. Uh, Bruin is one of my mods. Famously, uh, Brew was recently banned on Twitch <laughs> for, for making a joke about men. <laughs> so you might remember that happening. Um, Brew is back, which is exciting. Um, <laughs> and, and Brew plays the Decades Challenge. Um, but like a, a fun and very gay decades challenge, which is the best kind. Um, so we'll go over there and we'll say hello and, and we'll watch them land, grab all the land, you know, <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Happy Friday. Um, and I will see you all later. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and where's the button? Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't find it. I keep losing my own button. Stop streaming.